bang, 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 bang. Somebody made a joke. I be the butter man. You know I eat that damn feed em butter before I come in here. You need that protein so I can get on top of these beats. Killing it so clean, so mean, and it's so serene. If you seen the scene that I put in, I ignite. You don't know what we fight. I'm just playing. What's good? Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to another episode of Flocation. Flocation, 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 Flocation from my nation to your nation. Swing off the lever. Hey, that's going to be forever while I'm up this chatter. Yes, that's going to be forever, ever. Swing off the lever. That's going to be forever. Bang, bang. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. be forever while I'm eating up this chatter. Yes, that's going to be forever, ever. Swing off the lever. So, happy new year to you. So, you're going to see me doing a lot of this. I'm going to be looking at this screen a lot. Yes, there's a screen over here now. Let me go ahead and make sure that you can see what I can see. But before I do that, hold on, I got to do something real quick because I got to make sure that I keep it clean though. I got I to gotta, I gotta make it clean though. I got to make it clean though. Hold on, hold on. You don't even know what I'm finna do. You don't even know. You don't even know what I'm finna do. You don't even know what I'm finna do. You don't even know what I'm finna do. Just give me a second or two. Uh, uh, hold on, 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 hold on. Just for monitor two. Ooh, that shit look, that shit look sexy. Damn. Okay, so I'm gonna show you real quick what we got going on here. Alright, here. So I'm gonna show you this real quick. Yeah, we had to get some upgrades going on. HGC, what's the deal, bro? So let me go ahead and use this camera that I thought I'd never use again. Ever swing off the lever. And that gonna be forever while I'm eating up this cheddar. Yeah, that's gonna be forever, ever. Alright, so let's see something real quick. I'm trying to see something. Make sure I don't mess nothing up doing this. I thought I already got. Oh, that's the webcam angle. Okay, okay. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. That's my bad. Okay, so let's transition this. So you guys know that obviously I've been doing everything. Like this is the headquarters. This is behind the scenes stuff, right? So we got everything set up here. I got the screen here. I got the camera joint joint. Got the the little moving joint right here. Uh, and also let me know in the chat if you want me to do like a stream tour tutorial yada 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 of what's here i got my dmv clock up here i'm just playing <laughs> uh but over here now next to the mama poster we have a television that allows me to extend the screen out so that i can see what's going on here uh it's it has been a second since i have been able to get a setup like this going but we here and also, too, just to keep aesthetics. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yes. I'm going to do the same thing for uh, when it's time to do the podcast. So I'm just getting this piece by piece. I'm putting all of this stuff together and uh, inch by inch. It is a cinch. So we about to have even more fun than we've already had. Let me go ahead and switch back the screen. Put down my backup cam and let's talk so first and foremost i gotta make sure i acknowledge the chat because what we do this is our tv show this is your tv show uh yeah and it's starting to feel more and more like it every time we come up in here you know uh i love top of the years just because not because of re resolutions or anything like that but because it just it's, the, it's a fresh feeling that comes over you you know can you relate chat can you relate it's a fresh feeling that comes over you that just feels like you can clean the slate. You can do that any day, but it just feels like you can do that with the new calendar year. Feels good. Um, but let me acknowledge the chat first. So, Justin Garrett, what's up? 94 was jam. Uh, T. Jarrell, glow up. Yeah, I'm looking at the screen, by the way. Uh, uh oh. Now I can see who giving to the super chat while I'm making a beat. I can be like, oh, good looking out, and then go back. 
Shout out to you, Blake. Thank you, man. You all, you always come in. I feel like I have not seen a session where you didn't come in here and give to the super chat. And I appreciate that. I do. I do. I do not take that for granted. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, Step a Don Diggity. What's up, man? He said, uh, can't wait to get home. Hopefully I don't miss him too much. You'll be good. We're going to be here for a second. Um, 94 was what's a jam. Uh, what's a jam? Was 94 was a jam? I'm about to say your name is Wassa. Was a jam? You trying to make jokes about my peanut butter? You trying to... Like I don't got the blammer on me? Huh? Huh? You trying to make jokes like I don't got the blammer on me? What? I, 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 boy, celery sticks ready. All right? Ready. I got fuel. Ain't no... Oh, I'm running out of... Hey, guys, I'm running out of energy. <laughs> Been working on beats all day. It's none of that no more. No Napoleon Dynamite voice. I got, I, I, I'm loaded up. I don't know if I'm gonna be a fan of cold peanut butter, but oh well, we got to do something with that. Glow up one day. Uh, <laughs> Aaron Barber said he gonna send something through. Oh man, I'm looking forward to it. Truth Knox, uh, Jacinto, Jacinto Von Den Heather, I think that is. Uh, Courtney, Courtney, Courtney. Courtney. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna get a. Never mind. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. But I, for when Courtney comes in here, I feel like I gotta just turn up just for no reason, and I gotta have like. I'll make this room react somehow. Uh, HCC, what's good, bro? JPZ Zounds, uh, Manda, J Stark. Shout out to my to my to my my good. Uh, moderator family, Fred Beats. I'm not really reading the messages right now. If I'm being honest, I'm just reading the names. The real D. Give me my music again. What you doing? Don't do that. Uh, Cutter Morris. Marcus. Yeah. Well, let's get to it. Made by Harlem. What's up? Have you sent anything to Timbo B Club? No. I don't have a plan to. It's my birthday. Black Boy Beats. Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday, my friend. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Do I look like a submission producer to you? Let's be honest. Do I come off as 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 I'm getting ready to submit something to? Man, I'm hoping I get their attention. Do I have that energy? Like I want somebody's attention. Do if do you really feel you 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 if you know me, or maybe you knew, maybe you know. But if you know anything about me, do it do I have I ever I sure hope I sure hope he acknowledges my presence. Do I ever give you that energy? No, nah, hell no, nah, we ain't do it. Hell who what song was that? No, nah, hell no, nah, hell no, nah, yeah. Y'all done up and done it. Y'all done up and done it. Hell no, nah, hell no, nah, yeah, y'all done up and done it. What's up, Cutter Morris? Thank you so much. That was Nappy Roots. Yes, thank you for the reminder. I get random crunk ad libs, crunk era ad libs that just come into my mind. I know Nappy Roots wasn't really crunk per se. They were like kind of alternative crunk. <laughs> Hip hop nonetheless. But I don't know. Hell no. Nah. Yeah, y'all done up and done it. I get those in my head. Like when I was making that song we had yesterday, or the other night, yesterday, uh, Saturday, that song we made. I added some new things to it. One of which being um, an acapella from a throwback song that maybe you knew or maybe you didn't know uh, by Lil O featuring Hawk called Back, 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 Back. Uh, give me 50 feet. Uh, give me 50 feet. Uh, give me 50 feet. Back, 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 Back. Uh, give me 50 feet. Uh, give me 50 feet. Uh, feet. It's not my birthday. It's, wait a minute. Who said it's my birthday? It's not my birthday. It was, it was, uh, it was the, uh, who was it, the individual that was in here? Thank you, Blake. I, I mean, I don't know if there's a way I can give you back your five. It's not my birthday, but we're going to look at that as a birthday for, uh, for, where, where's my guy at? Where's my guy? He said it's my birthday. Maybe you could pop back up again. Yeah, it's coming up. It's coming up. Oh, yeah, that was Black Boy Beats. It's his birthday. Shout out to him. It's all good. It's all good. You got that after work brain, Blake. It's all good. Uh, cut of Morris. He said, can't wait for this episode of Flocation. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to go in there, give some hell to some beats. And I mean that in a good way. Give these, give, give some beats the beats. 
That sounds dirty. I take that back. <laughs> Capricorn, stand up. All right. Aquarius, this is Aquarius, Aquarius, this is stand up. I'm just playing. All right. So uh, we've done some talking. Don't give the beats the beats. I got to. They should have never been talking to me crazy. I'm just playing. I just plan. All right. Well, let's get to it. Can you? What is offbeat? I think we all have our own, our own. I think we all have our own offbeat. I think we all have a metronome in our head that says that feels right. And I think that offbeat is whatever is contradictory or, or opposite of what that is. That's what offbeat is to me. Uh, if you ask a DJ, you'll get a completely different definition. If you ask a music teacher, you probably get another definition. But offbeat, especially in the context of swing, like, you know, I like to swing a lot of my drums off the grid. I remember there's, there's a drummer one time that said, um, matter of fact, I might have that clip. Hold on, because this is, this is like a little clip from my book, The Prosperous Hip Hop Producer. And do I have the video? I would love to share that with you if I had it. Because I think that would be kind of dope. Oh, damn it. Amazon here with my package. I ain't about to go get that, though. Swing. There it goes. Yeah, I'm going to show Let me show you. Let me show you this. Let me show you this. I think that's a great question. I think that's a fair question. Um, let's let's do a desktop share, first of all. Okay. Get out of screen. Okay. Um, let's go back into that folder that we had. Boom. Uh, watch this clip. Uh, my drummer, Danny Richmond, is, I would not play without him. It would, it would take a long time to replace him. Most people don't, some musicians don't even understand what we have together. We have a beat that is like a railroad track or any straight line, but we don't play the straight line. We suggest this line so that you may hear a bass drum off of the line. And you may think the tempo is staggering, but it's not. It's playing down to the center, you know, above. Can you see this on camera? Mm -hmm. Like, this is the thought. It's, instead of playing right on it each time, it plays down, pushes it up. Then it plays on it. It plays in front of it and in back of it. And it suggests a smooth. So basically, with that, what I get from that, because I thought it was a, it was a brilliant brilliant uh observation of swing like i love the way that that is described what i look at it as and based upon this i'm not gonna say what i look at it as what i interpret uh, uh mingus is saying here is that there is a there is a on beat what are we gonna call this there is this is on beat this fist right here is on beat okay boom doom, tsh, doom boom doom tsh. and every time that snare hits there or that kick, whatever is falling upon that on beatness. Um, we are slightly swinging it on and off what the traditional metronome is. Um, and we're suggesting that through this swing that we're on a beat, but we're actually off the traditional metronome. So when I think of off beat, I'm thinking of um, I'm, I'm thinking of, I guess, what is for me when i think about offbeat and obviously there's a real definition of it when i think about offbeat when somebody complains about something that's usually when they use the word offbeat when somebody somebody is saying that yo this is this is fire like uh uh and i love the swing on it i'm, I'm thinking okay syncopation i'm thinking terms like that but i've never heard anything where i shouldn't say never there are some things that i heard where there was um chaos in the swing where there was that one part that was suggesting what this drum beat is or what this timing is. And then the melody went completely different. So one thing was super quantized. Another thing was like swung off. Maybe they use a, a loop from a drum kit and everything was just chaos. And I'm like, yeah, that just don't sound, just don't sound right to me. But if it sounds right to you, I mean, you got ears for a reason. You know what I'm saying? God gave you ears for a reason and uh, gave you preference for a reason. Hold on. Let me um let me let me let me talk to my wife real quick. 
gonna FaceTime her real quick so she know. Hey, baby, don't say nothing crazy. I'm on live stream, but I was gonna let I was gonna see. Would you mind? Uh, there's a package at the front door. Uh, whenever you pass by there, can you just pull it in? You know what I'm saying? They got porch thieves out here. You know what I'm saying? I, I just ain't trying to get that. And I'm, I just went live. I appreciate you. Thank you. Take it easy. You know what I'm saying? Walk slow. All right, there it is. Boom, there it is. All right, cool. My, I have my peace of mind now. Yeah. All right, cool. So that's that. Let's get into some stuff, man. Talking too damn much. But that was a, that was a good little detour. Can you hear that? Hold on. You can't hear that. You're not supposed to hear that, actually, because it's on the wrong setting. You hear that? 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 There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. Fade out music. It is 80 degrees in here. There is so much LED in here. It looks like a freaking Miami uh nightclub in here and that's fine we can turn the ac on when necessary drink some water which is always necessary but i feel like cooking i feel like cooking all right let me make sure i got the uh the automatic joint going too um and i don't see that's why that's why you gotta double check stuff okay let's save it let's go everything look good Curtis's personal tanning booth. Ooh, Curtis with one ass. Who that? Who that? The default drums of FL Studio FL sounds so ugly. Yeah, yeah, I, I I hear you. I hear you, man. I hear you. I hear you. One day we gotta do a challenge though. We gotta make a beat with just those. And I don't know why I said that out loud, because now the question in my head is why not right now? Let's do it. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to make this simple. It's going to be a short beat. We're going to do this. Uh, we're going to use nothing but stock. We're going to use these right here, first of all. And we're going to do a little bit of sound design to get this to sound right. But for the most part, I also want to at least get um, an 808 from the Legacy Pack. That would be nice. Let's just get... Oh, that's nice. Um, I want the vintage. Yep, that's what I want. That's what I want. Okay, we going This is the only drums we're gonna work with. So we're just gonna get something going, and uh, let's just get a nice little melody going down, or a nice little chord progression. Uh, to do that, we're probably gonna just run up, uh, rip chord rope. Mm. Let's do skeleton till. Let's get a uh... all right cool 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 ah I have for sure used those I can already hear oh yeah that's good Let's do uh let's change this. Alright, that's what I want. That's all I want right there. Alright, so let's go ahead and copy that. What is the tempo we're looking at? This is so cool. I can see the comments right here. This is so dope. Alright, uh no more draining my phone and then asking my wife to bring. <laughs> my uh, charger because it's so bad uh, all 
All right, so let's just get these down. What tempo are we at? Let's do, uh, give me the tempo. Give me the tempo, 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 tempo. Um, 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 uh, I'll take it. That's 89. Let's do 90. So the drums we're going to work with are just going to be on the stock here. I think we can do something with this. It's actually, it's actually a good idea for a warm-up, too, if you ask me. So whoever suggested that, shout out to you. Um... Matter of fact, I'm going to go back and I'm going to pin that. Uh, I'm going to pin that message. 3C. We're going to pin that just so people know when they come in here what the, what exactly we're doing. Uh, what's good? Who says sub Curtis? What's good? Um, you know what? I'm sorry, uh, Mark Franks. I can't say hi until I get that other S in my name. It's nothing personal. It's just, you know, 2021 resolutions and stuff. <laughs> Michael Jackson. <laughs> Tell me you ain't never heard that Michael verse. That's a Michael verse I made up. Oh, right. <laughs> right, here we go. Uh, let's get that mention on back. Mm, 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 uh. Is that what I wanted to do? No, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's clear that. Let's do it again. I gotta move this damn thing out the way. All right, let's get that down. So, MIDI capture. Oh, come on, man. You're only pushing one key. All right. That's it. That's all we're doing for right now. There should be a. Uh, I'm not even going to say what it's going to be. Oh my goodness, I can't stand when it does that. And I have not figured out this bug yet, but whatever. And all the keys in the crowd and they rhyme. And the Mississippi that I'm having to die. Oh. <laughs> That's all I heard. Oh my goodness. No, we're not doing that. We're just going to copy. We're going to copy that. I cannot get that out of my head now. I'm not going to record it, but I'm just saying it's there. <laughs> All right, so we got to actually put a key on that. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and run through contact. He was always thinking about some babies crying. <laughs> oh gosh is in here what's good bro is he in here i ain't even seen him uh no the babies in there about some my darling some me nine some me nine some me nine oh oh that's michael all <laughs> uh curtis sure does love contact i do i do you got, I mean, I think it's it's wise to have a go-to. I think it's wise to have your go-to. I love contact. Um, let's do Grandier. So 
we taking this, we strumming that for sure. Oh, the baby is it? Everything is copacetic with the stream. Let's cook up, let's cook up, let's cook up. Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy, Happy, a Happy New Year. Yeah, bah, 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 bah. She just joining us the challenge here that was administered by that uh by 3c to use the default drums he didn't say it was a challenge but i made it a challenge for right here so let's do it
like a clap to me. It wasn't supposed to be, but it sounded like a clap to me. Smack attack where you at? There you go.
out. Let's run that. So that was the default kick on that. off of me for a second. I'm gonna have it just on the screen. I know you're probably more interested with the screen than me right now. Yeah, yeah, da, 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 I'm gonna take this off that switch screen. I'm gonna take it off that auto screen. I'm gonna get mean. I'm gonna get mean. All right, we got this thump of the kick right now. We gotta build this up in pieces. So I took, I took this eight away because I want. Pause. I want some of the girth of that 808. Pause. Super pause. Uh, to basically give it a low end on this. This is the thumpiness of the kick. But we want a little bit of this. And mind you, this is still default. This is in your legacy or your, your legacy pack. So I'm going to actually copy this over for another channel. Because i got to shape this one as well. So this is going to be... I shouldn't have put it there. I'm going to put it here. It's going to put it... Uh, kick to... I just want to call this kick too. Because I want to give it at least a little bit of presence to make it a more fuller kick and take it off of the same grid. So. much my friend thank you so much for that super chat that's the bump on the back end this is gonna make a nice compliment okay give me the other kick i need the other kick with that i can swing that off the grid because i got a little bump on the kick uh, swing it, swing it, swing it, swing it, swing it nice though. Swing it nice, swing it nice. Stock drums, Avadon. Thank you, thank you, Avadon. I appreciate you. Good to see you here, bro. I said, black, black, that, that, black, na da da. Uh, the ugliest kick and ugliest clap in the world. Let's take that and do something. Ah, that, 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 da da da. So I'm gonna actually take this.
that was a clap, now it's a high. Okay, put this on its own channel, make a hi hat. Mm. Make it slap. I need an EQ for that hi hat. So let me get a little a little pattern going. Something simple. Gotta make sure I get the right text. everything didn't we no we didn't use the uh let's turn that into an 808 let's get make that a, a bigger 808 so first and foremost what we got to do let's get a crossfade going on so i can make this 808 as long as i want it to be we definitely have to doctor that up okay cool <laughs>
actually, I need to get the original timing of these kicks because I know they're, they're a little bit off the grid. <laughs> Since I know the notes, it's no bigger to just come in here and copy paste. So let's take. All right, I'll take that. Um, and we're gonna have to beef up that 808 because it sounds pathetic. that could be when I put our base on it. I think I'm going to put our base on that. certain ones in here I can already tell I need to go ahead and just cut that off Ugh. I'm about to add that to a damn pack or something
Oh, yes. I like that. So there's a, obviously there's a part here that's interfering. That's what it is. Take this other stock sound. What's good with you, T Sketch? Hey T, what's good with you? Thank you for being in here. I right, low key. Ugh, I like that. Uh, thank you, T. Thank you, T. You are, you know, it's the number of love. I definitely want to get, I'm up here yelling like I can't turn it down. Yo, T, I definitely want to get that, um, the melodic loop done probably tonight. I'm going to see what I, I'm going to see what it's looking like. I want to make a melodic loop on the fly for, uh, for us to, to collab on because we just eat him out today. But, uh, I also want to make a melodic loop and put it together, I guess, live. So, and I got some textures I want to mess around with, but let's get it. with the wrong damn thing ah that's my bad all good so let's actually undo that can we we gotta replace that now yeah that's not looking like how it was my bad that's a subtle little what is that 
just use one of there. It's more of a percussion instrument. No, that's cool. We can fix this. Cause we still gotta do some uh, stuff on the EQ and the end of it. Oh, that's what it was. That's what I meant to get. own channel though because you know what beyond so we're gonna take this and drag it into here it's gotta have its own eq too because i want to get certain parts out of that i need to smack to come out a little bit there you go that's it right there i need a little bit of this high end to come out of the way Omnisphere, my baby. Let's go. Lele, I see the candles in the room. Candles in the room. Candles in the room. Um, um, um. You got candles on your phone? Put them in the chat. You got candles on your phone? Hey, you ain't got candles on your phone? You probably got an Android, and that's fine. Just go ahead and copy and paste. That's fine. It's fine. I'm not judging. I'm just glad that you're here. <laughs> oh, oh. Choir, the uh, the uh, the boys' choir. 
Something feels very haunting about that. I want to kind of do some of the vowels though. Let me see if they got any more vowels. Okay, let's go. Where we at with it now? Where we at? What we need? We need to uh, do a kickstart on this and see what it sounds like. Something super crazy. Something super crazy. 
something so crazy. First of all, let's find a scale. Let me do before I get all in today. Let me find a scale. <laughs>
like it. It's just weird enough. All right, we'll go ahead and tweak around with the sound after. I just want to get that idea down first.
duck that in the background. We're gonna do something with that.
clap. What's good? Ah, that felt good to get done. So let me turn the AC on. It is 83 degrees in here. There's no reason why it should be 535. First and foremost, let me acknowledge JPZ Sounds. Uh, that man, Curtis, don't miss. He, uh, you give him uh, stick sounds and he gives you a hit. <laughs> it's like breathing to him. Everything is music, fam. Everything is music. Everything is music. I feel like everything is music. There's some music in there. I don't always hear melody, but I for damn sure hear uh, rhythm. There's rhythm in everything. That's why sometimes I repeat myself when I talk. It's a very awkward thing. But like sometimes I'll say something and something about the way the words interact with each other. I actually like I like hearing not my, my voice. Obviously, that's kind of self-centered. Uh, but hearing these words kind of come together, certain words mesh, mesh together. Same thing with rhythms. I hear certain rhythms. If I hear, I'm already thinking about the thing that's going to answer it. It don't matter what it is. It could be somebody knocking at the door for down, for crying out loud. Uh, we need to get some, it is ridiculously hot in this motherfucker. Though. I don't make no sense why it's like, like a shit, shit. Shit got me hot. That is hot. Uh, yo, Curtis, do you F with producer grind? Uh, I want you to do me a favor. Next time you be dizzy, next time you're on, <laughs> next time you're on YouTube, like you are right now, uh, type in producer grind and type in Curtis King. That's all I want you to do. Do I F with producer grind? Yes, man, I do, man. Of course, of course, of course. It's a lot less people. How about how should I say this? There's a lot more people that I do F with that I don't. <laughs> so, yeah, just look it up. You'll find an interesting search engine thing that pops up. Yeah, say that. All right. So let's do something real quick for my sis. Let's make a melody loop. I want a bit of a melody loop. And then after that, I say we get to cook in a beat, maybe even possibly song. I have been loving as we do that. Uh, he actually made a beat with the stock sounds. Hey, this all you fam. I have to I have to give you props for that. You the one that uh, inspired that idea because you're right. The default drums are ugly, but sometimes I just love the challenge, man. I love the challenge of make this something sound good. Make this sound good. I think that's what sound design. That's why I love sound design so much because sound design. I'm all up on the screen and shit. <laughs> Words all on <in> my face. <laughs> sound design is all about that. Sound design is how many different instruments can I make this one piece of sound sound like? We took a clap. We took a hi hat, turned into a clap. We took a clap, turned into a hi hat. Um, they all have different sine wave directions, or not direction, but sine wave uh, characters that make them unique and make them stand out when you put them together. Uh, that's the fastest I've ever put anything together in terms of sound design. Usually, it's an all day process for me because I like to sit there with stock sounds like that and really tweak them to a point where I give them a lot of character and a lot of depth. But today was just straight, uh, straight effective. My Lakers is on. It's the first game I'm missing all year long. That's how you know I love y'all. Missing my Laker game. You know I'm a diehard. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm a diehard. But that's that. Hey, Isaac, are you still in the building, man? Do I own serum? Yes, I do. Yes, you are. Isaac, I am going to put together, um, a psychedelic vibe. But I need like Jimi Hendrix psychedelic guitar. Would you be down to knock something out with me? Um, I know we were supposed to test out pedal. Um, I don't know if it's going to work right now. Uh, but. Let's do something like that. Let's do something psychedelic. I've been listening to, um, well, actually what inspired it was, um, what inspired it was, uh, I was doing a lesson on melodics and there was this psych, like this funkadelic vibe that came up and I was like, man, the textures on this are fire. So, um, be dizzy. I'm not going to answer questions like that because fam, now you're starting to ask questions because it sounds like you just want me to talk to you. You just sound like you want me to talk to you. You asked about two things that are not hard to find. 
Curtis, have you, do you F with producer grind? That's a fair one. Yeah, I do. Google it. I was had an interview on there. I'm actually on there. Curtis, what you think about pirated VSTs and stuff? Go search Curtis King pirated VSTs. Like, <laughs> it's the number one. It's the only video I got with a million views. Some people just want you to talk and say hi. Hi. Like the teacher said in Superbad to Fogel. Hi. <laughs> Why am I answering questions of videos I've already done? Look up pirated video and look it for the video with me with the dad hat. It'll explain everything of why that question become ir irritating. That's like asking me, hey, you got a coupon code for distro kid? So it's like, why did I edit the video? Why did I put it out? Why did I do any of that? <laughs> uh, but hey Isaac if you're there sir uh, we may have to do this a traditional way but it would be dope to I don't want to figure this pedal out right now because it may be an issue um, <laughs> how do I get to the description <laughs> I got no answers for you on that one you know what I'm saying like I'm like I ain't trying to I mean, I mean, I mean not trying to clown nobody I'm not trying to make an example of nobody I'm not trying to be a funny guy I'm just like it ain't hard to find The great philosopher Nas, not my son, but the rapper said, it ain't hard to tell. I remix that and say, it ain't hard to find. That's all it is. Um, stop my cook up to watch this. Well, I'm honored. I'm honored, man. They just, <laughs> T-Scan say, they just trolling on through. <laughs> you ain't never lied. All right, cool. I need some hydration. 83 is not going to do it. 83 is unacceptable. All right. They do come out at night, and they come out when we get higher numbers. All right, let's do some psychedelic shit. So, um, Isaac, you could just go ahead and just send it through to me. I'll look out for the screen. I need to just shoot you my number in the DM so that you have that contact to do that. Um, but... Uh, I'm trying to figure out. Do I have you as a contact on here? I don't. Because we could possibly use a uh, uh, pedal. That way I know it's coming. It's already here. I just don't want to slow anything down. It's all good. Okay, cool. Let me just go ahead and just, just start the cooking then. We're going to just do that. So let's get back to the the, uh, the 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 scene switcher, and we'll get into it. Brat that 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 the rat. Think about all the key. Think that 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 that. Walking down the street, let us crying. Baby in the hand, that baby's crying. People in the world, they always crying. Even when they're crying, I'm crying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Black Boy Beats. Uh, uh, yeah, I could play. Uh, I, no, no, no. I don't want to. I don't want to kill my ears. Right. I don't want to kill my ears. I feel like when I listen to a beat too many times, it starts to influence the second beat. And this is why I talk. Like I feel like I'm cleaning the palate right now by talking to you. So I know it's your birthday, and people don't tell people no on their birthday. I'm sorry. We'll come back to it if you're here. If you decide to be here. You know what I'm saying? He like, it's, it's, it's all good. It's just my birthday, Curtis. It's just my birthday. He said, is the camera moving or am I tripping? You high as hell. Camera ain't moving. What are you talking about? Moving? The camera ain't moving. That's your eyes, man. What you smoking? What's, what, what are you doing? What's wrong? What, what's going on in your life, man? What kind of shit you doing? Is the camera moving? Hell no, the camera ain't moving. I'm not even moving right now. What is you talking about? <laughs> he said, I swear, he still don't know. <laughs> he zooted. That boy zooted. <laughs> he is gone, gone. He like, am, am I tripping? Am I high? Or is this camera moving? He said, it's 3 a.m. Oh, yeah, you got that sleep drunk. So you sleep drunk. You're not even drunk, drunk. You sleep high. 
You can be you can you can get a high off people. Anybody who's who's stayed up for longer than twenty four hours understands the high your body gets after that period of time. You can get high off of, off a of lack of sleep. That you tired, tired, you tired high. I understand that. You delusional. You're like, am I tripping? Or is this camera moving right now? You're not tripping. <laughs> he said, I'll take whatever he's smoking. It's called a lack of sleep. All right, let's get into let's get into some psychedelic vibes. Um I'm gonna start building up these layers. And Isaac, I'll be on the lookout. I'll look over here to see. But I wanna do some. I don't even got this. I'm gonna call this uh Baby's Crying. <laughs> so the name of this beat, baby. I'm busy, man, the baby's crying. Walking through the streets, the babies. Babies, oh, oh, the baby's crying. Looking at that camera, oh, it's moving. Oh my gosh, I'm lying, I'm just high. <laughs> Imagine you got a you got a Michael Jackson bar like that. You'd be like, he's such a genius. All right, um, that's like Michael Jackson mixed with Lil Wayne. Uh, let's jump back into uh, Skeller because I think they have an actual psychedelic section that will be interesting. So a few things that we're going to need in here is something similar to like um, a clavinet. We're going to need a clavinet. We're going to need um, some roads for sure. Uh, let's open up the Wurlitzer, Whirly 2. I think Whirly 2 is going to be it. Um, in terms of a clavic, clavinet, we got to see. We got to see. I think I'm going to go stock sounds on the contact library to do that. So let's go to complete control. See if I can pull something from there. I'm nearly nice and baby crying. Oh. And to the beach and bottom and then the main. That's Michael all the way. I miss Michael, man. Rest in peace, man. All right. Uh, let me see if I can find. Uh, let's find something. Let's find. Uh, yo, this new joint. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything in that in, in that regard? Okay, that might be something close. That's close. That's close. What's up with the MIDI though? Oh, I didn't actually get anything. I actually like that. That's. That's gonna do it right there. That is gonna do it. Let's take the delay down. Uh, somebody said, "Can we pray for Dr. Dre?" What's going on with Dr. Dre? What happened to Dr. Dre? That's important. What's going on with Dr. Dre? I know he's going through a crazy divorce. Brain aneurysm. Oh, my God. Whoa. Are you kidding me? Wow. That's wild. Yeah, definitely. Pray is up for uh, for Dr. Dre. I know he was dealing with a lot of stress. That's crazy. Wow. Man. Sheesh. Oh, man. Yeah, that's crazy. That is wild. Definitely pray is up. Huh? Whatever you believe in, that is the way to do it for sure.
All right, I think I want to mess with that one first. So let's do um, a little tip for, me, for making me laugh about myself. It's all good, Marco. It's all love, man. It's all love. You know, I'm always, it's always lighthearted in here. Thank you so much for that super chat. It's always going to be love. Some people don't take it like that. I appreciate you being mature about it and, and, and understanding that it's never, it's never, um, it's never hate. I don't know people to hate them. I don't know. I don't hate nobody. I got some people I strongly dislike. <laughs> I don't hate nobody. But uh, absolutely, it's always love. All right, cool. Let's see. Let's open up Scalar and let's actually uh, let's get it to go to this particular channel. So let's import this at four and let's export Scalar at four. Make sure I'm on the right screen, too, by the way, because I can't see nothing. That's wild, man. That is wild. Shout out to the OG, man. That's crazy. So crazy. Okay, let's open up. They used to have a psychedelic. I think it had it in here. Let me see if I can find that in here. Progressive. No. Did they take it out? Is it? Because even if they got just a funk genre, that'd be dope. I think it might have been in the other version. I got to see. So that's rock. That's wild, man. Hmm. How are we going to approach this? Let's do... Actually, let me open up this. Let me see something. I want to open up Scalar 1 and see if I have that still. There it goes. Yes, right here. All right, so we're going to just go ahead and move that over to uh, output two, output three, no, output four. And then this is input four, and this is going to get deleted. Output four, input four. Okay, that should have worked. Let's try another out. Let's try another port. Let's go port two and let's do this is port two. Really? What's going on with that? Okay, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Do me a favor in here. Okay, I'm starting to notice the chat take another turn. Um, okay, Kanye and Kim getting a divorce. That is very unfortunate. If you're going to be in here, let's please make it a positive vibe. This is this is the escape from the machine. Let me talk to you for a second. I understand there's bad news and bad things are going to happen. And we definitely want to show love and respect to those that are going through things. But let's not bring that into this space. Do me that one favor. Let's not bring it into the space. Uh, let's not make this TMZ. Let's not make this. They divorce ain't none of our business. And to bring it in here, just don't. Let's, let's, not, let's not do that. The OG is going through something right now, and we definitely want to send prayers because it affects us in the musical community as well as just human beings. I get that. But this can go on a down spiral. And that's what social media does. Social media sends you one post, you acknowledge it, you watch it, then they send you a bombard, a bombardment, whatever that is. They bombard you with a bunch more news like that. And then you get into your head, the world is shitty. Everything is bad. Everything's going to hell. This is the one place that we get to get away from that. Kanye ain't got shit to do with this, with this stream right now. They divorce, that's unfortunate. Divorces happen every day, B. Let's make this space an escape from that. 
because then it becomes triggering for some people. Not for me, but I just want to make sure we keep this exactly. Just prayers. Just prayers. That's all that's about. That's all it's about. That's all it's about. There's enough channels out here that they'll give you that. They'll give you the news and the scoop. I am not one of those. But I do want to make sure that we keep it good vibes in here. Good vibes in here. That's not, it's not ignoring the fact that these things are happening. But if we can just keep it out of the chat, that's important. Black Boy Beats, are you telling me to relax? Are you saying that we should just chill? Because if you're telling me to relax, your birthday ain't that special to be trying to tell me what to do. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Happy birthday, but nigga, <laughs> you tell me, tell me to relax. Shit, that's what your birthday wishes is over. That's what I'm like. You just gonna have to enjoy the rest of that day by yourself on that day. Shit. <laughs> I'm saying to others, okay. Well, blessings to you and my apologies for misconstruing that. I know when I'm wrong, but I thought you was telling me to relax. And I'm like, I said that in a very calm voice. I ain't even turn up. Well, if I want to turn up, I'll be like, you don't get that, you don't get that dead dumbass Kanye news up out of here. Give a shit about no, I don't give a shit about that man marriage. Ain't got shit to do with me. Kanye don't pay no bills. Kanye don't, he ain't even subscribed to the channel. He don't pay none of bills. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. But he ain't got nothing to do with my marriage. The hell up? What did Kanye do for me? I like a couple beats. I like his songs. He was very inspirational for me as a rapper slash producer. He don't do shit for me. I could go break my leg right now. He ain't going to say, yo, shout out to him. I hope he's doing all right. Okay. And then the first person, hey, Kamara, you might have been the one to come in here. Don't ple please, my friend. I'm, I'm, I am urging you. We've already talked about that. We're not going to make this an environment full of news. This is not a news environment. Do me that favor. We did hear about it. This is not the place to discuss it, though. It's all good. It's all good. You might have just came in here. I I'm, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. Just want to make sure y'all know. Sheesh. All right, cool. Let's get into it. So we're making something psychedelic. And that's what I intend to do. So this is on Output 5. And we need to import this into here. I don't know why this is not working. I don't know why this joint is not working, but nonetheless, it doesn't really matter. All right, let's just get um, let's just get a different different instrument. That's what I really want, and I want electric piano. It is there. Okay, okay, I hear it. I hear it. We got some. All 
sorry, almost there. Just do those three chords. Let's do that. So we're doing this. It's going to be the second one. It's going to be that. And then repeat it one more time. It's going to be that. Passing kind of joint. Okay, so cool. Let's do that. Let's drag that over to here to here. So let's go ahead and drag that. It's going to be a slower tempo. I don't know why I got it at 87, but we got to make this slower. All right. Um, Probably even slower than that. So we're just making a melodic loop right now. right here let's pull that over here let's do this okay so that is also an extension of that all right cool we gonna get it we gonna get it we praying for dre we praying everything's gonna be all right we also want to make sure that we do what we need to do in here and part of that is being a positive force for one another part of that is having an opportunity to uh escape for a second because i'm pretty sure after we get off of here we all gonna hyper consume the updates to see how he's doing and what's going on <laughs> Is Isaac uh, gonna hop up the family so I can vibe out, make something for? Okay, straight. There it is. All right, for show, sure, Isaac. I cannot wait to see what that sounds like. I'm gonna bring it together. I'm gonna get a, a, a pretty basic drum loop is what I actually want to get for this. And uh, we're going to stop the scene switcher for a second if it's not already off. We're just going to go straight to the screen. Let's stop that. Let's keep it here for a second. So, Isaac, I don't know if you're still listening or whatnot and what's going on, but I'm looking for, like, 70s psychedelic like that abrasive guitar like the one you found on um uh it's like a lot of Jimi hendrix records I'm trying to figure out which one i heard it on recently um but it's that really like girthy type of type of uh uh guitar I don't know why I want to call like the Dilla man, not the Dilla, but the dealer. I think it's like the purple haze. It's either the purple haze or crosstown traffic. I think it is. But when you hear it, you know exactly which one I'm talking about. It's more so the the uh, the pedal. 
I guess that they use a distortion, the type of distortion. All right, cool. So I just want to get a regular drum loop. That's all I want. Like something that's kind of 60s or 70s influenced. later already got them okay cool it's never used them. That might be the guy to go to maxwell makes a lot of this kind of vibes around with the chords obviously
run that for a second.
leave some space for Isaac, but I wanted to see if there's some accents here that I can get in here. and we'll make it a better mix because I want to leave room for Isaac to bring in that other guitar or that guitar One more time. that was actually kind of fire I like that got this we need to do something just space it out a little bit more um i'm thinking uh probably unplug is where we're gonna go for that let's go to unplug for that i want to see either that or uh effects is where we're gonna go to
Yeah, let's go. And T Sketch, if you're still here, by the by the same by the way, uh, we still using this as your your melodic loop. I'm just putting this together as a drum loop underneath it. I want you to sample this. I want you to sample this, uh, T. This will be our collab, but I really want to get the vibe out. I've been really wanting to be, want to do something in this in this lane for a second. And there's a lot of instruments here that I really, really love about the psychedelic, funkadelic type of air. So let's actually get some organs in here too. And that's another very prominent instrument. Ah, man, I love it. Gotta get that. Uh, let Isaac do that overbearing, like over aggressive guitar. Not too crazy, but you know, just that 70s sign of the times type of vibe. Okay, what am I looking for? I am looking for, uh, I need a organ, a organ, a organ, not your organ, but an organ that goes, I need a organ that goes, if I find an organ, an organ, an organ, an organ, not an organ donor, and not a cloner, this beat is so solo, it's like a loner. I bite into the apple of life called Fiona. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Talking back, a goner. Uh huh, uh huh, you're good, then I'm gonna. Uh. I need to go full swell on this. Get, get, get. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Actually, we probably could just double those up and see. For sure, we gotta get the right, right one. Let's get some of those. Let's get these first, and we'll build them off of here. Right there already. It sounded a little bit more layered like I wanted to be. Barbara might have blessed me with something. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on for a second. Hold on. Aaron Barber might have get. Oh, Aaron Barber, you jumping in this? Well, let's make it a collab then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gladly take this, Aaron Barber. I'll take that off your hands. It's a crazy little thing. Crazy little thing. Whoa, 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 baby. Ay, oh, ay, oh, ay, oh, ay, da, da, ya, da, ya, ya, ya. What's up, da, 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 da. It's a sign. I take it as a sign. I take it as a sign, sign, sign. Ya, 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 ya. 
Hey, Maxilla, get your motherfucking ass out of here. Gosh, it sounds done. Shut up. Get the hell up out of here. Are we living in the past? Take your negative ass home. You already home? Hop, hop off the chat. Hop off the goddamn chat. Hop off the chat. You're not invited. Oh, backseat ass producer. Go make a beat. If you got all of them critiques, go make a goddamn beat. Shit. Man. Every once in a while, somebody got to catch that steam. Turn left, bro. Turn right. Shut up. Leave me the hell alone. God damn. <laughs> Ugh. Shut up. <sighs> all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Yada da 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 Let's see if I can find that sound. Let's find that sound. Let's find that sound. Let's find that sound. Let's find that sound. 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 Uh, Aaron, I don't know if we can hear that. Hold on, is the piano on there? Let me see something. Let me see something. I can barely hear that. Oh, let's turn it up. Oh, there it goes. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Let's go, Aaron. It ain't done. It ain't done till we want it to be done. Head ass. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. Hit the compressor on that one. Might be a hair behind. Just a, it's just a hair. Behind. We're gonna see right now though. So let's do this. Let's take the clavicle out right now. So we can hear this. Let's run a compressor over the top of it. Yeah, y'all, 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 you mad? I can see your comments now. You head asses can't get your shit off no more, huh? I'm over here looking at the screen like, yeah. Thought I wasn't gonna catch that. Thought I was too in the vibe, huh? I see everything now, baby. I see the whole screen now, baby. I see your head asses from here now, baby. I can see it now. I got a screen. I didn't upgrade it. You, you, usually you can get that off. Not today, though. And don't be sending me no DMs talking about, I think you overreacted, bro. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just let me vibe like I let you vibe. Okay, this is the part where I feel like it falls a little bit off a little bit. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I can see where it's at. If I can get that right, everything else should be straight, right? Woo! Karen Barber. Come on now, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go.
get the compressor going on. Well, T, you look like you got a whole lot of stuff going here. You got a whole lot of stuff to mess with here, T. I'm going to take these drums out. I'm going to get this to you. We just waiting on Isaac right now. All right, let me separate these instruments. to send it through oh man bring it home isaac bring it home bro bring it home all right let me uh do a little subtractive joint on here over this fool said the beat is done no it is not done we ain't even added a bass or nothing jeez louise uh what clav that clav sound is crazy or fire what plugin is this that's uh it's a stock contact stock contact contact got some stock sounds i pulled it off of stock complete or sorry uh com contact complete which has like you could just search things by instrument they have a bunch of fire stuff in there that doesn't really have a branding name to it it's just like the standard sound within there but I found out through complete control. I just ran a, a search for it. Uh, boom. Or actually not there. Ran a search here. I put clavinet. And it came up with a few of these that are from a few of their different instruments in here. You don't sleep on their stock sounds. Today's like a stock day. Oh, my God. Aaron, why'd you do that to me? Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that, Aaron?
sounded crazy. <laughs> hey. I see some lighters in the room, miss some lighters in the room, room, room. You got it, sis. You already know, you already know we're going to go in for you. I see the lighters in the room, the lighters in the room, uh. Before we do anything, um, send through, uh, yeah, just send through the organs. Play some organs, uh, uh, Aaron. Uh, don't go too crazy because we got it's, it's it's a long loop as it is right now. I know you used to making like four minute loops. Um, send the organ in, but I want to make sure that we do something that doesn't crowd too much space. As uh, we waiting on Isaac to throw something through here, because I want to see what that's gonna sound like. Because if if it works according to what I'm envisioning. That guitar is going to bring everything home. It's just going to be like, it's going to get like dark on a, on a certain part. And if the keys are going too crazy, like I think it's going to take away from that vision. But if you go crazy on the keys, I can always use it as an outro or something. So in other words, do it. We just probably won't add it until we get the guitars, if that makes sense. But for sure, go in. I want to play some instruments too. Can I play some instruments too? <laughs> I won't play some too, Aaron. Y'all taking all the fun from me, man. <laughs>
Sheesh. That's nasty. Oh my goodness. Okay. the flocation theme song how do you make a beat that's not a beat more like a flocation ask Curtis pretty much <laughs> this is nasty okay keeping an eye out for Isaac. Isaac, I'm, I'm, I'm over here like, I'm over here like thirsty, thirsty for that guitar. <laughs> thirsty for the, I mean, I'm over here, that, that brother thirsty. I'm thirsty for the guitar, man, where is that? I know he over there going, he over there going in. Okay, okay, okay.
NBA.com. I don't want no updates right now. I just want to see notifications from Isaac. That's all I'm looking for right now. I don't care about none of that they talking about right now. I don't care about none of that. Show me updates for this. I need to do something that is going to uh, do a little bit of a I think portamento. Actually, before I do that. over there murdering it, so I'm not even going to rush it.
boy got a guitar coming through. Uh, you got F. Eliana going haywire. Curtains. It's, hey, is F. Eliana doing something crazy? Let me know if she's doing something crazy. Thank you so much, Law, for that uh, super chat. I do believe we got a guitar coming in. Oh, I do believe we got a guitar, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been blessed with the presence of one of the moderators up in here. Yam Yam Shan. Yam Shan, it's that time. It's that time, baby. It's that time, baby. My face all up in the chat. You know what I'm saying? It's that time, baby. I am so excited right now to see what he did. Oh, man. I am too excited right now. The Hendrix. Ooh, I'm getting excited. All right, let's see what this what this see what this is hitting for. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. Let's see what this is hitting for. Let's see what we got up in here. You feel me? Let's see what this is all about. Oh man, this is what get me excited. Shit, a shout out on Twitter from somebody. Hell no, nah. this right here, having a guitar come through. Ooh, I'm getting excited. All right, that's it. I'm gonna shut up now. All right, let's see what my man's and did on here. Okay. All right, cool. Let me turn this down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It's coming a little hot. A little hot. A little hot. I'm going to mute myself over here so I can hear what you did and see where we're going to put this at. a treadmill right now i can walk into a gym right now i can walk into a gym right now no mask no membership and kick over a row of treadmills right now with people on them and walk out and say that you hear that mother effing guitar that lazy eye guitar music just played and i'm gonna just walk out before the police come that's how excited i am that is beautiful oh my gosh oh my gosh now thank you for giving me that guitar drive are a bit dry because now I can run that through another sound effect uh, pedal that I love so much that I think it's gonna really bring it out even more. This is freaking fire! Oh man! Let's hear it with the drums. Rig six. That's what I'm looking for. Oh my gosh. Goosebumps. Wait till we put this joint on here though, because I got an idea. Courtney, thank you so much. Thank you, Courtney. Thank you. This a hey, this this came together. Mighty night. That's close, but it's not quite that. That's hard though. That's hard. Man. Oh my 
gosh. was the one that I like more. I think I'm going to just add my own effects afterwards on it. That was it. But now I want to add um, a guitar rig. Let's do another guitar rig. What you getting ready to do to a T sketch is gonna be real, real uh, uh, disrespectful. I got some ideas.
right, let's bring it together now. Let's put this here. It's not really a chorus. It's just a, a melodic loop that keeps going. Imagine if we would have stopped this beat when that one wise ass came in here and said this beat is done. Imagine that. Imagine that. Cook to your heart's desire. Imagine we would have stopped this 40 minutes ago. That's disappointing. Make your own beat. Let me make this one. Much love to the chat. Much love to those in here who understand this is a process, my friends. <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> Thank you, Blake. Thank you. Thank you. These gentlemen came in and brought some amazingness to this.
this. Oh my goodness. By the way, T Sketch is a rapper. T Sketch might just take this and start rapping on it. She might not even put them put no beat on it. She might be like, yo, I just, I just had to do a song over it. How do you sell a beat like this? You don't. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> this is this is music for the sake of loving music. This is not music for buy 50 beats for four dollars. This is not for that. This is something where it's like you just make it for your heart's desire. Music for the love of making music, exactly. But if you want to sell it, put on your beat. Not this beat, but make shit that you want to make. Put it on your beat store. If nobody wants it. Put him at the bottom of the page. Somebody will want it one day. Never know. guitar with the chorus on top of it is what I'm hearing. So, uh, let's add some drums over this thing.
So we got that. Let's do a guitar uh, uh, acoustic. And this is all yours, T, after that. So I'm going to take the drums off of there so you can hook up. regular strumming. I think it's triggering. Let me see. Let's see. No, that should that's in C1. Uh no, that's not the chord I want. The chord I want is uh different from there. anything oh it's auto chord oh that's why duh that boy goofy goofy sometimes there we go
Oh, yes. Yes, baby. Yes. Work with me. That's what I want to hear. Okay, let's take that and let's also put uh, the same guitar delay we put on for Guitar Rig 2. But let's put that on this uh, acoustic and see what it sounds like. Okay, Courtney, take it easy. Thank you for being here, Courtney. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being a moderator, too. I appreciate you so much. Gotta make sure I name these. All right, cool. Okay, we need, uh, no, I'm gonna let, hey, you definitely, uh, I'm gonna let you get that bass line too. Go ahead and handle that bass. So I'm gonna just have, have nothing but instruments, melodies in here. So let me see, what am I doing? I'm renaming this to synth. Okay. Ah, all right, I feel better about it now. All right, now we can get the camera angles back and all that. Start the thing, start the thing, start the thing, start to make it gay, make it aim, make it bang, and I'll make it bang. You know I'm gonna make it bang, make it bang, make it bang, make it bang, I am bang. I wanna change the color, change the color. I think that's kinda like a purple. That's a purple, that's a blue, that's a purple, that's a purple, that's a purple. I make this guitar a brighter color too, so I know what that is. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Ba da ba, ba da ba da ba da ba da ba ba da ba 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 da ba da ba 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 da 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 all right cool we got something here we got something special all right cool so let's go ahead and just run these all make sure they're all on all right cool maybe even put a uh let's see what we can do with the roads see if we can add something on the roads too Thank you so much for being here, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you. We're probably going to make one more beat, and um, we'll be out of here for the day. Once again, prayers up for Dr. Dre. Pray prayers up for Dr. Dre. That's terrible to hear. Oh, no. Courtney. He sent through some or organs? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Courtney. Oh no, wait a minute. He sent through some organs. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I thought we were I thought we were <laughs> wrapping it up. I thought we were done with that there. I thought we had some I thought we were I thought we were done there. Apparently not. Aaron saw it he saw it upon himself to ensure that we have organs. My joint is not like working according to plan right now. Let me stop that. Stop here. What is going on? Is, 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 is it what's is, is it too much funk for you? Like what what are you doing? 
like none of my buttons are there. Oh my gosh. You acting different. You ain't never acted like that before at OBS. Yes, you have. Because you be on that BS. Well, I can't even switch my, I can't switch my scenes at all. Okay, well, let's take it off studio mode. Take it back. Okay, there we go. We should be able to get, be good now. Okay, that was so weird. Flocation, yes. Thank you for reminding us. It is flocation. Um, are you making a new beat? After I get these organs, yes. I'm making a new beat. Um, but I got to get these organs. That's not even a conversation. Oh, wow, he sent the organs in. Yes, he did. Uh, shout out to Courtney for letting me know that he sent the organs through. Uh, added to Dropbox. I just want to make sure I get these. And I'm going to send this off to you after this uh, flocation here. T, I'm going to send this over to you via WeTransfer. And you just have at it. I can't wait to hear what you do with it. Um, Cannot wait to hear what you do with it. Right now, I'm just jamming on some music. I'm just jamming on some music. We just jamming on some music. We just having fun with it. All right, uh, but we will be cooking up one more beat after this. We still got time, and I'm about to have my uh, my celery and peanut butter snack because I need some. I need a little bit of something. I need some. You feel me? Like it's getting to that point. Um, the flow seat is exhausting, man. It can be very exhausting at times. All right, so we have, we should have. We should have uh, some. Back, back, give me 50 feet. Back, 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 back. Yeah, give me 50 feet. Back, 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 back. Okay. okay, I'm done. Uh, I had to get that off real quick. Um, <laughs> you know I ain't got no sense. Uh, there it is, Oregon. Okay, I'm going to have to put that there. I don't know what it is. Your sounds are coming in like really, really low, Aaron. I don't know if the, how you bouncing it or something's going on. That's crazy. Okay, let's turn that back down now. Let's so get this on time. You already know, AT, I got you. I got you. No, you definitely gotta get your sleep. Get your sleep tonight. Get your sleep tonight for sure. Please get your sleep. Please get your sleep. Desktop, desktop, desktop. Make it not, make it not, make it not, make it not. Bang, bang.
done with that now. Pretty much done with that. Nice, nice, nice. Love when an idea comes together. How you planned it. That's always a nice thing. That's a hell of a melodic loop. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey! All right, I want to hear it one more time with the drums, and then I'm gonna just send this over to uh, T. You cook up, you do what you do, sis. Excited to see what you do with it. Let me give you a little bit of leveling, at least, to work with.
<laughs> this is crazy. I love it. 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 I'm going to hop out of here. Uh, gentlemen, uh, Aaron Barber and Isaac, thank you so much for uh, for lacing this. Uh, T, this is yours. Mute these drums. Oh, this is going to be fun. cool saved it that is yours uh let's cook up something else but i need a break i need a quick little recharge if you don't mind for the 60 of you that are here yikes yeah that was good that was what i had in mind when i when i told you i said man we got to come together and do something that's what i have in mind for sure uh man my shorts all up my butt man i'm over here i was in a zone <laughs> I was in a zone. Oh, somebody get to the super chat. Uh, Cutter Morris, thank you so much, man. Said three different three different producers went in on this, and this episode never disappoints. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you for joining us. Feels like it's getting better, man. It's feel like it's still room for improvement with the stream. Like that's I always try to come in here and I look back when we do the highlight videos because I'm gonna start. Uh, shout out to Melvin who is my video editor um from he, he's uh he's based in africa so we got two different time zones but he's so crazy on the edits and so he you know uh he's the one that's chopping this up so when i get to relive it through the clips i get to see like uh it would be better if i had more time where this this scene was a little bit better or i need to light this scene a little bit better i'm always thinking of ways to improve this as if this is my tv show because this is my tv show and you are watching curtis king tv by the way so um this ain't one of them tv stations where we have commercials so obviously when you guys um give to the super chat that is something that is helping to support this in addition to my businesses that help support myself and my family this really helps support things because i spent a lot of time in here that could be spent with other things but i enjoy it and i love it so much it gives me the opportunity to work on music it gives me the opportunity to uh do all this stuff he said, running an ad. No, I ain't running no ads. I ain't doing no ads. I ain't doing no ads. But I am about to get this celery and peanut butter real quick, if you don't mind. That's the last thing y'all want to see. As soon as we get a good thing, that's the first thing people want to do is run some damn ads on it. Oh, this is working. How can we annoy the shit out of our viewers? They like the show. That's good. How can we make them not like it? <laughs> Put a bunch of ads. Yeah, that's it. Health is well. collab my brother well my brother I appreciate the gesture but um I don't collab with folks I don't know I don't if I ain't built with you if I don't know you I'm not collabing with you if we haven't built some kind of rapport I ain't collabing with you I don't know you I don't know nobody I don't know nobody if I don't know you we can't collab weird shit happens when you don't know people when you get to know them and you collab it works out so much better and the music is even better too but if i don't know you i can't collab with i don't collab with nobody i don't know shit just gets it just gets different everybody works a little bit different I'm not saying that you have anything wrong with what you work you might be the most amazing producer i ever heard doesn't matter only work with folks that i've built with that i know t sketch i've known her for years through my private communities right Isaac, I've known for probably a year now, uh, or more recently through private community. Um, Aaron Barber, I've known for years through that. I stick to that. And that's something that it may come off snobbish. And I, I'm aware of that. And I'm self-aware of that. I'm completely aware that it comes off snobbish. But that's all right. Um, I think a lot of folks ask 
or collabs and all they're thinking about is what they can get in it. But they're not they're not actually excited about working on the music. Ugh, I got all celery and shit. They're not actually excited about the music. It's just about what can I what can you do for me? Right? In some, in some capacity, whether it's a seller beat, whether it's I like the fact that you have an audience. So I don't do it. And I make it fair for everybody, right? But if we build genuinely and not build just to collab, shit comes out so much better. Cause I don't have to. We don't have to collab. So that's my that's that's my stance on that. And I've been pretty adamant about that. It's no disrespect to nobody. But um I don't collab for collabing sake. Time time is short. Like you might as well ask me for five dollars. Because that's more valuable. That's less valuable than um my time and your time can't get that back but you gotta build with folks man mr g said even collaborating with somebody that you know can turn weird if y'all ain't on the same page mr g you ain't never lied just a poll how many people in here have collabed with somebody they didn't know and you have a story to tell about it and it did not work out really well or how many collabs have you done that were just for the sake of the collab and they were just okay, right? You got to think about it. Like when we collab, we're asking each other to be our best at what we do. If I don't know what you do, how can I ask you to be the best at what you're, what you're the best at, right? What if I say, oh, I'm going to start the melody and you're weak on the drums. What's the purpose of that collab? Our, our job when we're collabing is to bring the best out of each other and to showcase the best for the purpose of the overall record. Get to the best record possible. I learned it from one of my former managers. Get to the best record possible. Get to the best beat possible. That is our only goal. Well, if I let my ego say, well, I always do the drums and you're a better drummer than me and I don't know that because we haven't built, it's going to be a subpar product. And I see uh, some, uh, James Robinson said, right on. I still got that fire guitar, though. And you may you may very well have that fire guitar. But uh, I don't think either of us are missing out. I think that we're meant to work with who we're, we're meant to work with. We're meant to make the music we're meant to make. And shit is just going to be good no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to be good. You're going to be good. If you never get a Curtis King collab, your life will be fantastic. I am not that valuable. I am not. I shouldn't say that. I am nothing i am nobody and that makes me capable of doing anything but also it makes me not have been a big deal don't worry about me you're better off collabing with somebody that's five five miles away from you well maybe not right now because of covid but work with them folks like work with them folks that's right there with you that understand where you come from understand your bounce understand everything that you you know what i'm saying like do that and then stretch out but the best collabs, I've made a lot of subpar collabs in my career. And they could have been better had I asked the question or had I even become a fan of the other person. Right? I'm a fan of Aaron Barber. I'm a fan of Isaac, La Lazy Eye Music. I'm a fan of T-Sketch. That makes collabing supremely easy. So that wasn't even a, a reply to the guy who asked to collab anymore. That was just in general. When people try to see what that's all about, I just want you to know where I'm coming from. I'm not being a dick. I'm not being an asshole saying that. I'm not trying to be. Have you ever tried sampling Curtis Mayfield? Um, I'm related to Curtis Mayfield. Facts. True facts. On my mother's mother's side. I'm related to, to their, 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 the Mayfield family. So it's a long story, <laughs> but I'm related to Curtis Mayfield, but I've never sampled Curtis Mayfield. No, I haven't. That's one of them Nardwar facts. That's one of them Nardwar. I'll be like, and I'm here with Curtis. Uh, King. And 
you're a pro producer. And you're from... <laughs> you're from Southern California, am I correct? Yes, Nardwar, I'm from Southern California. That's great. And uh, you like to go on a lot of uh, flow... Location. How you know that? Oh, that's crazy. How you know that? How you know that, Nardwar? I, yes, Curtis King, and um, you went to a Curtis Middle School, didn't you? How, how you know that? How you... Uh, he crazy. Narwar crazy as hell. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Do 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 <laughs> They're gonna be like <laughs> Narwar gonna be like he gonna pull out a vinyl of Curtis Mayfield. He gonna be like, and who is this? I'm like, oh that's crazy. It's Curtis Mayfield. And he's related to you, right? How'd you know that, Narwar? It's my job to know. I'm the human servient. <laughs> Tell me I didn't do that. That was spot on. <laughs> you said he might work for the FBI. He might work for the FBI. He might, or he might just do some research and most of these rappers be too damn high to remember that they said stuff in, the, in their first interview and he probably has like a database full of number one interviews. Like not like your first interviews. He probably the first thing he looks for is like MySpace pages, right? Um, uh, what what did he say? Uh, he said a lot of that shit is public record. I'm saying like it's not hard to go to classmates.com and see your whole high school career through your yearbook. No matter who you are, I can find that. If I know your first and last name, classmates.com will provide that information, right? So. He probably goes in there and he probably got his own little, little little strategy. He only interviews people he could find that stuff on. And he's like, mm, this Curtis King interview is ready to go. This is going to be a doozy. Doop, 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 doop. That's what Narvar would do. Putting that mic all in your face like, dog, could you back that shit up? Could you not, Narvar? <laughs> I don't know what I so funny. I might be delusional right now. But that is freaking hilarious. Yeah. Narwar needs to learn. Like, if you've never seen Narwar, go look it up. He'll probably have some of your favorite um, interviews ever. Like, because he's just, he's thorough. He's entertaining. And he brings out a side of your favorite artist that you probably never saw. Like, uh, Tyler, the creator is one of my favorite artists. And to see, like, he was like, oh, how the fuck, how you know that? How'd you know that? You know, he's deep voice. How'd you know that? Oh, that's crazy. To see that one was kind of fire. Yeah, he said, I remember he said that. He said, he said, and Tyler, the creator, your mother is Canadian. He said, wait, what the, how did you, how did you know that? He'd be giving gifts. He gave Tyler like some some uh some bacon butter or some some bacon soda or something like a like bake like bacon but something that well you can consume. It was crazy, but yeah, that's what he does. A human servant. Let me get interviewed by Nardwar. He'll bring up the information, everything that you didn't think you knew about me. He'll bring up all that. The Kendrick Lamar one was fired. Yeah, I was a little afraid for him in the Kendrick Lamar one because it looked like they was about to jump him. He started asking questions about about stuff that stuff that uh, that happened in Compton, and the room got kind of quiet. And I know that you know he, you know don't don't get it twisted. You know Kendrick is a good kid from Mass City, but he he ride around with some thorough individuals. Shout out to the TDE security and family. They some thorough individuals. Them is folks you don't want to have issues with. You ever notice that when rappers have issues with folks from TDE, they're not issues that last long. People be knowing who to mess with. TDE ain't one of those you want to mess with. You leave them alone. You don't mess with nobody from there. I don't care what your opinion is of it. You better keep it to yourself. They just... They move different. They move different. They move... That's not West Coast bias. That's West Coast experience. I've seen it. They move different. You just gotta... You just gotta, gotta count your losses on whatever happened. Even Big Sean, when he was going at Kendrick a little bit, he was like, "Yeah, I don't. I'm not really that mad. Like I'm mad, but I ain't that mad. You know what I'm saying? Gotta be careful, man.
Yeah, please do. Google that. You got to Google that because, like, it's not Kendrick's reaction. Kendrick is always, he's really cool, cool, like, just laid back. It's the way he look at, look at his folks is around, like, hey, he might be the feds. <laughs> or wait a minute, well, he know a little bit too much. What else you know? Like, it, it was that look. He looked around, he was like, yeah, it's crazy. That's kind of a Cali thing. When somebody, when somebody, you talking to somebody, and they look like they might be about that, or they got people around them look like about it, and they say, for real? It's crazy. Watch your ass. You might have to fight for your life right there. You'll be like, shit, for real? That's crazy. Oh, is that right? Bet. Yeah, you about to get pressed. Either finna clap or somebody finna swing on you. Either way, you in the wrong place. They were like, that's crazy. A word? Bet. Don't let that man go to his trunk. Do not let that man and all woman go to their trunk. If you hear that in California, if you hear that in California, I tell you right now. Do not let, you let them go to their car, you go to your car, you drive back to wherever you came from. Just move different. You just gotta know. You just gotta know. You gotta know. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know. Do me a favor if you haven't hit the like button already. I'm about to go down the streets to Sprouts and get some celery. Hey man, do it, bro. Do it. I'm I feel like I feel good, man. He said, don't let them rub their hands together and lick their lips. Then when you know something about to happen, yo, you don't want that. You don't, and then when somebody starts clapping with every word. I don't know if that's a Cali thing. I don't know if they do that everywhere, but I know in Cali they do that for sure. They do that for sure. I'm telling you right now, this is your final warning. This is your final warning. When somebody get to clapping with the words, with every single syllable, you finna get your ass beat. That's what that is. You finna, do not let somebody clap like that. Oh my mama though, like that right there, that phrase, you know how many issues have occurred after? Oh my mama though. Don't bring moms into it. Don't do it. Don't do that. Don't bring moms into it. <laughs> That's how you know it's about to get serious. All right. What's up? Can we cook up one more beat? Cook up one more beat? He said, he said, real gangsters move in silence with no with no warning. Uh I think I I don't know about all that. I thought they, they, I mean everybody's different. Right? I don't think there's a there's a, a monolistic gangster that everybody uh, applies to, but I've I, I've met many different breeds of thorough individuals, and yes, you're right. They don't do all that barking. A lot of them don't do all that barking, but they give you very subtle hints. And depending on your region, you know what those subtle hints are. You know what I'm saying? Like you know those subtle hints that something's getting ready to happen, right? One of the most disrespectful ones and respectful ones at the same time when somebody put their hands behind their back, because they're telling you, I don't even see you as a threat. And I'm restraining myself. That's scary. That's some scary. That's scary right there. You know what I'm saying? I, I am I am not a street dude. I am not. I, I'll be in here making my beats. That's it. But I know what the hell's going on. I ain't going to walk around like Booboo the Fool. I understand what's around here. I understand what I see when I go different places. I know what's going on. LAUSD, Carson, California. You better know something that's going on where you're at. Could save your life, damn it. All right, let's cook another beat. Let's cook another beat and let's get up out of here. Um, I think Aaron might have gave us, Aaron might have gave us another loop. He sure did. Matter of fact, I'm sorry, I can have y'all all up in my emails and stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like rude having having y'all all up in my emails. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know. You feel me? Like, you be all in my emails. Like, oh, that's what, that's what who that, who that, who you, are, who you talking to, Gert? Like, y'all in my bed, dude. Yeah. Get out of my bed, dude. Get out my business, my business. Was that ludicrous? All right, I'm downloading this. Rubs hands. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That means that this beat is about to catch a full blown. It's about to catch a full fade. I rub my hands together. Looking at FL Studio like, oh, for real though? All right, for sure. For sure. For sure. I'm finna chop the sample up though. 
Oh, man. Too much fun in here. Okay. And guess what? The degrees went from 83 degrees in here to 79. We are going in the right direction. That's nice. Okay. Okay. So. That shit is hard. That whole that shit, that's hard. That is hard. I like that. Um, I gotta turn this AC on. No, that's one thing I cannot ignore anymore. Is we made a whole song about washing your hands. That was crazy. We're gonna play that before we leave here today or tonight. Cause I added some new stuff to it. That shit sounds a lot better than when I was doing it here. It, all, it was already cool. Another another level. All right, what is this? 76, de 76 degrees. 76, that's how you know I'm hot. Uh, 76 BPM. Beautiful. HGC, you like this one? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, for real? Oh, so you just gonna be a sample like that and be sexy? For sure. All right, bet. Oh, word? Wait, say that again? Bet. All right, for sure. Oh, you got extra transitions and shit? All right, bet. All right, bet. I'm done. What is, what is going on? All right. Aaron, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your loops just hypnotize me. It's on sight with that beat. You damn right, Mr. G. This one, I don't even want to chop this. I just want to keep it in its essence, and I want to do some... Mm, I just want to keep that there. Thank you, Aaron. I can't forget to say that. Thank you, Aaron. Like Aaron Barber's melody packs, he has plenty. Woo -hoo! That's a transition. Phase. Okay, move this down the damn way. I don't want nothing in my way when I do this. I went to Levine's the other day.
the hell is a swample? That's a waffle fries. I was like, let me get a Dr. Pepper. Some waffle fries and a Dr. Pepper. Live. Why am I doing that? Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna take this. We'll have one that actually does that and have one that doesn't do it anymore. So we can build off this. Thank <laughs> you.
appreciate it, Isaac. I'm gonna get to that in a second. I'm still in the middle of the cookout, so I'm gonna go out to it when we get uh, a little bit more minimum on it. But thank you for sending that through. And for the super chat.
on? What's going on? Now we can get that guitar idea from uh, Isaac. I had to stay in that zone. You just know sometimes when you got a zone, you got to stay in. So sc scrolling off the screen sometimes can throw you off for a loop. But uh, no, I appreciate you nonetheless. I know you got some fire coming on through here. So, uh, but yeah, when I'm that early in the in the process, I got to get them ideas out, or uh, I'm gonna be mad at myself for not letting the flow occur. Uh, cool, we got it. Curious to see what this is sounding like. Uh, what was the name of that joint? Uh, rah, 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 rah. I think I have it here. Oh, let me 
see if I can open it up here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, cool. I think I got it here. Let's see. Class with the 808 though so let me um let me see what happens if i take this up an octave and fool around with it appreciate it bro <laughs> save that for like a uh for another portion of here because it's definitely gonna clash with the 808 for sure i can already hear it and i like the low end features of that guitar we'll just have to save that for like maybe like a verse or something so i'm gonna go ahead and do that thank you sir
stop there.
And then we're gonna put that in Interesting what we can do in here. So that's already a catchy ass hook. 
my old ass song, but we need to get this in here. I want to find a way to creatively throw this in here, but we need it to be on a beat first. So we can make
you when you die, well fuck up your white feet But nigga, I be ready to stuff on that nice feet And y'all walking out of this dust on they like me
sweet. One more time, and we're gonna go to the other beats. We out of here. Whoa, blackout. Blackout moment. I'm sorry. I blacked out. I blacked out, and I wasn't paying attention. Thank you so much. I see the... I see the... I see the... I used those Motown strings before. I didn't want to use them again. But it didn't go real. Stepadon Diggity, thank you. Cutter Morris, thank you. When y'all don't put no words behind the uh, super chat, I feel like, I don't know, it's something that feels like it's more love. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's like, I got no words for you, Curtis. I got no words. All right, we've heard this enough times. Thank you so much. Uh, my neck and my head is finna be hurting tomorrow. I already know it. I don't care. These beats were well worth the pain I shall endure. Um... Let's actually take it back even further than that. Let's go to wash your hands. Uh, I still got to mix it out on the big speakers, but let's let's just run these. Let's just run these, and then uh, we'll call it a night. My phone didn't die and stuff, so that melody looked like it came straight out of a video game. That is your man's uh, Aaron Barber for you, man. Genius, bro. Genius inspires uh, inspires the best out of you sometimes, man. These are fun. These are all fun. Kind of bummed I wasn't able to do the lyrics today. I'm kind of like loving uh, the lyrics aspect of this. I'm enjoying that, like writing music. Even like if it's just freestyling, I'm enjoying doing that again. <laughs> Sick individuals highly susceptible to infection. They also hey. serve as sources of disease agents. Even though the signs and symptoms yeah, of I use that sample may twice. not be apparent. I sure did. Before and after caring for each patient, a thorough hand wash should be carried out. I know you've been a fan of a couple of jams, but damn, you gotta wash your hands. I know this probably ain't going according to plans, but yeah, you gotta wash your hands I know you've been a fan of a couple of jams But 
down, you gotta wash your hands I know this probably ain't going to go into the plans But yeah, you gotta wash your hands You've been a fan, yes, you've been a fan I thank you for giving my music a chance uh, you, You've been quarantined and I've been quarantined Trying to stay clean and away from this COVID-19 I promise it ain't personal But I'm trying to keep balance, no vertigo Heard it go all across the land Before I get you that, man, I hope you understand I know you've been a fan of a couple of jams But damn, you gotta wash your hands I know this probably ain't going according to plans But yeah, you gotta wash your hands I know you've been a fan of a couple of jams But damn, you gotta wash your hands I know this probably ain't going according to plans But yeah, you gotta wash your hands Okay, say word you do you cur I just been supporting a couple of yours Don't know if you heard But they found a cure And if you go get that inside of your nerves Nigga, hell no I don't need vaccine I need for you to step back Five feet Please I'm trying to say this politely If you need to find me Then hit me on IG I know you've been a fan of a couple of jams But damn You gotta wash your hands I know this probably ain't going according to plans But yeah you gotta wash your hands. I know you've been a fan of a couple of jams, but damn, you gotta wash your hands. I know this probably ain't going to go on the plans, but yeah, you gotta wash your hands. With the last paper towel, turn off the water faucets. The towel will prevent recontamination Crazy. of the hands by the faucet handles. Crazy. All right, let's go back in uh, chronological order today. First beat was called Baby's Crying. Baby's crying. Are you DPS brother or what? I don't know who that is. So that means no. I'm not DPS's brother. Oh shit. Oh shit. That shit came in hot. I know I didn't format that. Let me do like a little quick little format. Get that stuff out the way. Oh, that's the one we made the beat with nothing but stock drums. And um that shit kind of bangs. Not gonna, not gonna cap there to ya. That shit kind of bangs. All right, let's see what we working with. Uh, let's double this up too, because I think this is where it really starts. So stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. And let's play this. <laughs> You're wondering why it's called Baby's Crying because I was doing my Michael Jackson impersonation on that. Ooh, 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 baby's crying, baby's. i 
arms and my loop it that while the baby's crying. Mama hold the baby and the baby's still crying. <laughs> yeah, that's my Michael Jackson impersonation. That's why it's called Baby's Crying. He was always, anytime my song got deep, it was like the saddest thing in the world to him was Baby's Crying. Because I, I promise you, that man sang about Baby's Crying a million times. Legend, legend. But he sang a lot about Baby's Crying. Go look it up. Ooh, Baby's Crying. Baby's crying. Oh, oh. COVID 19. Oh, all the babes crying. Why the babes crying? Oh. Crying and dying was like his favorite words to put together. That's why he was a world star. Like, not world star. Not world star. Not that world star. Like, he was a star because he sang a universal theme. All right, T Sketch. Ooh, this yours. This yours right here. This the one that. Oh, that was a a, th a three way collab between me, Aaron Barber, and Isaac. Uh, lazy uh, guitar music. I sound like the dude when I say that right now. I sound like the dude on the beginning of a uh, a pound cake with Drake and Jay Z. You know, back in my day, we <laughs> it was a three way collab. Yeah, we was on on live stream. And Baba on the keys, and uh, Isaac on the guitar. And uh, yeah, you know, man, and back in 2021, we didn't we didn't do all that talking, you know what I'm saying? We just put shit down, that's what we did. <laughs> Why that sound just like it? <laughs> Sounds like you riding in the whip while the sun's setting. Accurate. 
accurate. House of Blues vid vibe, accurate. <laughs> C-Sketch said, what the blood clot? What the blood clot? Uh, yeah, that was, yeah, that was special. We got to do that again, fellas. I don't know if y'all still here, but we got to do it again, fellas. Um, I love that. Happy birthday. Is your birthday? 21 on flocation. Happy birthday, man. Another happy birthday. A convertible. Yeah, it got to be a convertible. Got to be a convertible. I ain't never seen a diamond in the back, like in real life, but like, uh, yeah, a diamond in the back. Some rooftop. Dig it in the same. The gangsta thing. Ooh, woo. Ooh, wee. You know what I'm talking about. Happy birthday, JPZ. All right, let's go to back back. Let's jump up out of here. Uh, answer some questions. I can't sleep now. I'm sorry, Courtney. I'm sorry. I thought you was heading out. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that to you. I didn't mean to do that to you. I just hope. I just try to bring a little, bring a little positivity. I know there's some crazy stuff going on right now. Let's, uh, yeah, this is, this is that. I definitely want to do some more psychedelic vibes in another stream for sure. music windows 95 your computer is just loading up um type of beat <laughs> uh let's play music
Q&A is coming up right now, William Freddy. You know, when you get a feeling, you're making a beat. You just got to get that out. Got to get that out. I knew that idea was going to be something that I wanted to see. That's special. That's special right there. six hours yeah buddy yeah buddy yeah buddy uh ladies and gentlemen that was another episode of flocation we're gonna do a q a right now but flocation 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 out of breath flocation 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 and now we're back um talk to me what's on your mind when what's your favorite reva reva <laughs> reverb plugin I bought this this one uh, plug-in for five, $50 on a site. It's called Initial Audio uh, AR1 Ver Reverb. Um, I don't have a favorite reverb because I'm sort of like, 
Let me just change this over here. I'm sort of new to actually utilizing reverb in a way that I like it. I usually only use reverb on, on vocals um, or like dramatic effects on beats. So just recently I started using it on my drums. So I'm not really the one to have a favorite reverb, but um, Valhalla is definitely one that I like. Um, it's not a reverb, but they have a reverb chain that I really like on Endless Smile that I use. It's the first preset. Um, it's just one knob literally, but that's my favorite one in terms of giving a reverb, reverberation on a sound. But Valhalla is dope. Uh, I love, I, I don't have any problem with the stock ones. I feel like it's just, it just is what it is. It just is what it is. It just is what it is, my friends. Curtis, every decade or two, hip hop has a mainstream beat type currently trapped. What do you think is next? I have no idea. I have no idea. I think uh, Benja, Benja, Benja says Drill. Drill's been around though. Drill's been around. I just can't, I think because it's so, I I love it. I love I love Drill. I love, I love all the different styles of Drill. UK Drill, Chicago Drill. Um, they're all different. They're all different in the structure. They're all different in the drums. Um, so let's, first of all, that's important, but I think that drill is going to, in terms of a mainstream audience, I think it's going to be something they fall in love with for a second, right? It'll have a run. It's not going to have a trap run. I don't think it's going to have a trap run. Trap has so many children. Trap has so many children. Same way hip hop does. That's why you can't never say hip hop is dead. Hip hop has so many, so many offspring genres. Um, so when you talk about the next gener the next direction, you know, I, I, I think that in terms of like the major, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know what's going to be the next trap. All I can say is it doesn't matter. Uh, it really doesn't matter because you do what you want to do. You do what you want to do. And you just, you know, you, you, you pray that you pray that it is your time. You pray that that time is on your side and that the wave comes to you. But if you wave chasing, you're never going to catch up. If you're wave chasing, you'll always be behind. If you're, if you're wave chasing, you'll always be behind. You'll always be a step behind. Because if you see something, you're like, oh, that's hard. By the time it got to you, it's already too late. By the time it got to you, it's already been mixed and mastered. It's already been sent to people's emails. It's already been uh, shared with other artists who are exclusive to that artist. It's already been duplicated in their own way because artists copy artists a lot of the times. And so by that time it gets to you and the general public, it's no longer new. It may feel new because it has a sticker on the CD or the, you know, the digital platform, but it ain't new. Guarantee you artists look at other artists stuff and be like oh that's just gonna hit that's gonna go and then they take it to the best of their memory right or if they get an email they'll try to borrow elements of it and be ahead of the curve so i would just say do what you want to do make what the what make what music you want to do so you don't have to worry about being behind on everything um i think it's it's of course it's all right to be inspired by new sounds and things that come around but when you ride an entire wave you have to be careful because if that is not truly who you are if that's not truly your sound that you really want to make and that's going to change over time obviously but if that's not your sound you will live and die by that genre and what i mean is that if you find success within chasing that wave or going and doing that thing you're gonna die with that wave there are a lot of artists and this is not me disrespecting because a lot of them are homies but there's a lot of artists that die with jerking with that jerk wave like when jerk jerky music was like that there's a lot of artists who could not fight back on that right um because it was something that it took the mainstream like you like everybody whenever the mainstream moves to something super fast and is obsessive over it 
careful about following it because unless you plan on banking out in that period of time, they're going to make you eat those, those old verses and old songs over and over again. No matter how crazy dope you are. Right? Um, somebody said audio push. I think audio push is probably the most successful in branching themselves off, but I think there's still an audience that grew up with them um, that, you know, when they grew out of the 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 jerking music and they moved on, they moved on, right? Some of them might have been on that for a second and then they went to R&B. What was dope about them is that they made a switch and started making, you know, more, I don't want to say grown-up music, but like music that applied more to the demographic that was growing. And so they've been able to you know, have a have longevity in this, and uh, I, I tip my hat to them. They ha- definitely have a tremendous fan base and all that, um, but it ain't easy. And that's just assuming that you find success in it. Imagine chasing it and not finding any kind of success in it, and you still don't like the music that you made in that time period. You were just excited about a sound for a second, right? I would say before you go full-fledged committing yourself to it, ask yourself, what do you like about it? Because most times it's like, like with drill, I like the UK drill, I love the drums and the shakers because I feel like trap beats don't use enough shakers. <laughs> I love the shakers about it. So when I, when I got that, when I got that timing down and I really respected those UK producers and that UK sound, of, of their drill and I sat with it I was like cool I can find my rhythm in there and then I could take it to another direction but like I got a beat called Symphony where the drums are obviously UK drill influence but it's not a UK drill beat it's like a cinematic trap beat with UK drill drums so I get that from like the legends like Jay-Z Jay-Z never fully committed to a to a to a sound Right. Like he always had his his sound and then found his way, like through an era of sample based hip hop, found his way through an era of, you know, synthesizer led, uh, 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 you know, 808 short 808 music. Right. Or then going into trap like he always found a way to kind of pivot his way through there, but not sounding not trying to sound like the young guys. Like, he didn't sound like the old guy in the room, right? He's always sounding like Jay-Z, no matter what genre he does. And then when you think he's getting ready to kind of, like, pivot another wave, he'll go backwards. So, like, when Autotune was going, he didn't go make an Autotune song at that time. He was like, death of Autotune. So it's like, you have longevity being polarizing, doing the opposite thing of what's going on. If that's what you are. And most times, like, you got to think about it. This music is being made from places you've probably never been. Maybe maybe you have. You've probably never been by people you've never met with experiences you've never experienced. So, of course, their inspiration in putting that music together in the same way as you is going to be different. It's going to hit different. It's going to feel different. It's going to be expressed in a different way. So your understanding of it is going to be different. So that's why I say find the elements that you like. Is it the tempo? It might just be the tempo. It might just be one sound. It might just be the synthesizer. Or it might be just the type of 808, the texture of the 808, the chain on the 808. And then you do it and you scratch that dopamine and move on. But I think trying to, oh, that's it. That's it. I'm a a drill producer. And it's like, okay, if that's what you feel that you are, give it everything you got. But careers are long. Careers, music careers are long. It may not feel like it in hip hop, but music careers are long. (laughs) ACC said, I'm trying to merge lo-fi with cinematic music. Do it, man. Do it. There's got to be a you. There's got to be a you. There's got to be, somebody got to be a you. Somebody got to be you. Seems like you the most seems like you the most qualified to be HGC. I can't do HGC. I can't do it. 
you got to be you. And I would say, if you have ever, William Freddy, I will never do that. I will never do that. I'm sorry, William Freddy. This is not the channel. I won't. I don't do that. You got to stand on something. You got to stand on something and stand by something. I don't want to react to anybody's beats. I don't. Especially after going six hours like this, I don't want to react to no beats. I don't want to hear my own beats. Um, with all due respect, with all due respect, but no, I don't react to beats. I don't want to do that. No. Once again, that's we talking about wave running. <laughs> we talking about wave riding. That's that would be me riding the wave of. Yeah, thank you, a magnificent. You know what's up. That would be me riding the wave of other YouTubers who were like, "What's a great way to get a bunch of subscribers in my live stream? I'll react to their beats." I would much rather there be less people than for me to have to do some head ass shit I don't want to do. Cause then I gotta do the do I gotta do the dumbass. Then I gotta do the dumbass. Uh, not even because of your. It's not even because of the sound of your beats for real. Like Ben, you said nipples and snares. It's not even about that. You could have fire beats. That ain't nothing doing. They ain't got nothing to do with me. I just don't want to be the head asses in here. That's like thumbnail. I don't want to. I don't. I, I don't want to be that guy. I don't, I don't want to be that guy. I don't. I don't want to. I don't. I don't. That's not. I don't desire that. I don't want to do that. I don't. Nope. That's not for me. <laughs> Cordy said, "I seen it coming." I don't. I don't. <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you see me do that from here on out, I am trolling. I am full-blown trolling. If you see me on a thumbnail and I'm like, I'm just trolling. You know that I'm like trolling other YouTubers. The shock face. Oh, they got to get the shock face. Like, what are you shocked about? What are you shocked about right now? Nah, you ain't got to clown a homie cow beast. He don't, he don't do that. Well, he kind of do that a little bit. He don't do it that dramatic. He be like, he be like, You feel me? Like he don't, he don't, <laughs> he don't, he don't go all out. Like I used to go all out. I'm clowning myself. Like in all actuality, I'm not talking about nobody. Like I didn't do it. Um, but like, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't stop naming people. Why y'all trying to clown people? Don't do that. Don't do that. Why y'all trying to clown people? Seven year old producer blows my mind. I'm sick. Mr. G. I'm, don't do that. I'm sick. <laughs> Are you guys hearing what I'm hearing? That's the title. The title is full blown. Are you guys hearing what I'm hearing? <laughs> You've seen it before, right? <laughs> I suck at clickbait. Clickbait, I'm terrible at. I'll be trying. Sometimes I'll be trying. I ain't gonna lie to you. I need to go cap. Also, I'll be trying some clickbait. I'm not good at it. I'm not good at it because I'm like, that's not what this is all about at all. It's not even what this is about. <laughs> I'll be like, I'll be like, <laughs> I'll be like, I think I'm done. And then the video will be like, so what's up, guys? You know what I'm saying? I was working on this beat and uh, I think it's done. <laughs> like, that's that, you know what I'm saying? Like, that'll be the video. And you'll be like, ha ha ha, you got me, you got me. But you, and it's crazy when people be mad at, People be mad at clickbait. Like, I understand, like, not liking it, but being mad at it as if you didn't read the title and know. You don't recognize clickbait at this point? How, when, is your first, I remember my first beer. This your first time on the internet? You don't recognize clickbait. You don't recognize it by now? Come on now, people get mad. This is not what this video is about. I am not responsible for your brain going crazy. Every producer needs this. And then it'll be like a computer. <laughs> you feel me? Like it's just it's just part of it. It's just it's just the lay of the land. I'm not mad at it. But you won't catch my head ass. You won't catch me. What you're not gonna do is catch me. I can't believe this work. Insane turnout. I'm sick. HGC, you've seen it all. You've seen it all. You've seen it all. I know you have. Bait you would be like a 20 minute video and nothing you were expecting. And then they hit you with a teaser in the first five seconds. They hit you with a teaser like, like, I don't know, guys, I just. That's it, man. 
I've had enough. Then it goes to the intro, and it comes back, and they're like, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, it just does everybody. Every, I feel like every YouTuber goes through it. They go through it. It happens. It's just part. It's the lay of the land. It's, it's part of the, 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 the game of this YouTube. That's what it is. Not life's 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 a stage. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's just funny as shit. I just won't be that. I can't be that no more. I can't do it because I gotta like look back at these videos one day and be like, "You was ugh, that was ugly of you, Curtis." <laughs> I can't. I can't do it, man. If that means my channel stay small, it stay small. I'm down for that. That's cool with me. How to get a thousand streams in a day. No, no, your, your title's too long. You just gotta put a thousand streams in one day. Super easy. <laughs> you gotta put a description. Super easy. Uh, 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 unheard of way. Secret formula. <laughs> they won't tell you this. Oh, that's my favorite. That's my... My favorite clickbait is, I'm not supposed to tell you this. If you don't shut your ass up, if you don't shut your ass up, I see many people do that. I see, you. if you don't shut up, other producers don't want me to tell you this, but shut up. It's a bunch of, I seen a bunch of them videos. I know y'all be irritated. I know y'all be irritated. As a YouTuber, I know y'all be irritated. <laughs> Look, man, it's a lot of industry cats. It's a lot of industry producers probably gonna be mad at me for telling y'all this, but check it out. It's called the Sound Goodizer. Look, I ain't supposed to tell y'all this. You know what I'm saying? It's my secret sauce, but man, like, I just felt like <laughs> be telling you something you already knew. Like, oh, you thought that was a secret, huh? That's cool. That's cool. It's this thing called Maximus, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I feel bad for even saying it. If you don't knock it off, if you don't knock it off. <laughs> HCC, over 58,802 producers have been using this simple yet powerful tool. <sighs> I'm dead, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> FL Studio Secrets unlocked. What was they ever locked? And who locked them? Who locked them? Who has a, a safe with no money in it except for it's no money. All is in there is FL Studio tips and tricks. Unlocked. Yo, if you don't get your boy, if you don't get your ass away from me. Unlocked. Nah, it's the gatekeepers out here. The gatekeepers ain't got nope. Gatekeepers ain't got nothing. They ain't got, the gatekeepers, the gatekeepers, whatever that, whoever that is, be looking at y'all. They be looking at you making music. Trying to figure out, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh. Hoping that you don't recognize how crazy what you're doing is. Sometimes you think you be making mistakes and you end up helping somebody with their style because they recognize the greatness that you have in front of you that you sometimes cannot see. Oh, don't, don't let them let them know. Let no, that, that's that. Y'all gonna hear that today. You gonna hear that today. Them folks that you be looking up to be peekabooing at your streams. They be peekabooing at your videos. All in the videos. Don't be in the chat, though. You know what I'm saying? You be live. It'd be like seven people in there. Six of them said hi, but that one didn't say nothing. It'd be that you be. It'd be people you would you would never even expect. And I'm not just making that up. That is pure truth. It be it would be somebody you would never expect in your life checking in on you. Especially if you're freely making music and you enjoyed the process. One of the drawbacks to being 
on top of the mountain where everybody can see you being a, a, a top producer one of the drawbacks have a good night isaac thank you for sending that through one of the drawbacks is that everybody's watching you and everybody knows or you feel like everybody knows your next move your next trick right you feel like damn like i don't I, how do i redefine myself in this so you go looking so they go looking for the person that has a smaller audience significantly but is just in there killing it and then they piece by piece take it together they peek it or some of y'all out there send them loops and they be telling you nah i don't like that i don't like none of these loops please don't send me no more loops and then they turn around and you hear a song and you're like damn that sounds like something i did they be watching they be watching you have a good night isaac they be watching you'd be surprised i'm not surprised anymore who's watching and when i see things pop up i just be like meh 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 you can come here too it's okay you're welcome you're welcome to come here too <laughs> you're welcome here too it's all right you're a little weird but it's, it's all right it's okay it's okay uh an old homie would always say my buildups were too long and then i'd hear <laughs> i'd hear his tracks and his buildups were long too <laughs> people 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 will tell you something is trash hoping that you look at them as influential and that you stop doing it so they can do it man this shit kind of hard bro you know my you know my oh my favorite one and it's not even a producer thing this is just a human thing when you give somebody advice that they don't want to take like they ask you for advice and you give them some solid you like this that's that was some fire ass advice i gave you and they're like nah nah i don't think that's right and then like months later they come to you and try to give you advice verbatim acting like you weren't the source of the same advice that you gave them and you just be sitting there like i'm gonna let you finish go ahead get that off <laughs> get that off get that wisdom off please you would not believe how often People be hitting me with shit. I'm like, if you don't get your perspiration head ass out away from me, I know what I, I know, I know what I, what I what I said. I know what I wrote. How you gonna come here and act like it's new? Like I ain't gonna recognize me. You ever be talking to somebody, you be like, wait, 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 wait. That's me. <laughs> that's me. That's me. What did you what are you talking? That's me. No. -uh. I made that up. <laughs> y'all seen it y'all seen it i just say this when you see people stealing your ideas don't get mad don't go on rants i even took down that video that i had of the suicide boys i looked at it and i was like mm, what's the long play on this what's the what's the long game on this it got like two hundred thousand views what's the long long play on this what's the long game on this what's the plan you gonna sue? No. Do you want the attention that it brings? No. Is it true? What it happened? Do you know it's true? Yes, I do. That's good enough. Now move on. Cool. Yeah, for sure. Sometimes you just gotta like reserve within yourself that I'm gonna just, I'm gonna play this different. I'm gonna play this different. So when somebody take from you, Right when they take when they take something, you know they obviously took something from you. Smile, unless you want to sue, go sue, but smile, and say I must be on the right track. You want to be good enough to have some. You want to make your music good enough to be stolen. I feel like your career doesn't start until you make something good enough that somebody wants to steal. Your career, your music career, doesn't start until somebody until somebody deems work that you have created worthy of stealing do you understand what it takes for a human being to get in the mindset of stealing right to take something that is not theirs when they could easily buy it at a very affordable rate some of your beat sales would be a very affordable do you know what it takes a human being to get in that headspace like i need this shit and i need it now 
you want to make your music worthy of being stolen from. If nobody is trying to steal your music, there's no reason for you to be copyrighting your music. Don't nobody want it. Don't nobody want it. What you gonna steal from yourself? Don't nobody want it. If nobody wanna steal it, yeah. Maybe you don't got nothing. And that's all right, time, time will reveal. But people be trying to copyright dog shit. I don't want nobody to steal this. How long you been making beats? Two hours. What? I started last week. Should I get a copyright lawyer? No. First of all, you should get a legit copy of FL Studio. Second of all, <laughs> second of all, <laughs> get your life together. Third of all, stop worrying about lawyers and what are you doing? That's that LLC Twitter energy some producers be having. You ain't no business unless you go ahead and get your stuff copyrighted from the stuff from the from the from the, from the, from the jump. You know what I'm saying? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, Mr. G, and that was the reason I made that video to begin with. The irony of not wanting your beats stolen while using stolen plugins. Why is that not like people are just in denial like you be it be folks that get their stuff stolen and be wishing the worst on artists I hope you get a takedown notice I hope you get a DMCA takedown notice I hope that nobody wants to buy your songs that's why you got a punk ass career nobody nobody can care about anyways you know what I'm saying you steal it what you broke broke boy broke boy broke boy talking all that stuff about somebody that stole Imagine them plugins that you pirated. Imagine, imagine they didn't even want to sue you. Imagine they sent you a video. They're like, what's up, broke boy? It's your broke ass. Nah, nah, I can have my, they be like, I can have my pl plugin stolen a million times and I still make it more money than you make it off of my plugins. It, it would, you would be ready to fight. You will be ready to fight. You will be ready to fight a, a, a plugin developer. But they don't do that. They continue to create. Everyone gonna steal plug in, plugging in the beginning though. Not true. Not true. Not true. Not true. Not true. Everyone? It's a bit of a, it's a bit of a stretch. Everybody doesn't, everybody does not operate that way. There might have been a time that I thought that but what I had to come to a realization is that that had to do with my circle of folks that I was around. It was common for us to do that at one point in time, starting out. But in the beginning, I didn't know nothing about like when I started making beats, it was a different time, obviously. I didn't know nothing about no torrents or nothing like that. Nothing about that, right? So I had to buy the stuff that I wanted to use. I had to buy a keyboard. I bought a keyboard. I bought my PlayStation game. I bought a PlayStation, yada, 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 and made beats off of that. So I think that's a very broad statement. It depends on who, it depends on who you're talking to. How are you gonna know you wanna produce? So let me ask you this. How does a basketball player they know they want to play basketball? Do they go steal a basketball? That's your reasoning right now. How does somebody know that they want to be a race car driver? Do they go steal a car? They're more than $700 as you say that Omnisphere is. If I want to race cars, how do I know? Do I go steal a car to do that? Come on, man. You got to see the contradiction in that. Come on now. You come on now. That's like saying every race car driver gonna steal cars in the beginning. <laughs> come on, fam. Ain't, ain't even seven dollars. You put two hundred dollars extra on it. <laughs> how you? He said. How he said. How you know you gonna want to produce unless you steal it? Now, what you mean? What you mean? How you know? How? How you know you want to be a gamer? Oh, fam, you got to go steal Xboxes and PlayStations. 
that logic does not it just don't make no sense and it shouldn't just apply that shouldn't be a producer thing now it's not a producer thing it's just that sometimes we get in circles where that's the norm but no i cannot i can't i can't <laughs> i can't i can't ride with that logic i can't bro most 15 year olds do you know most 15 year olds and if so how do you have so many 15 year old friends are you 15 and you don't know every you don't know every 15 year old 15 year old i've seen i got 15 15 year olds in my in my neighborhood right now who uh if they want a hovercraft <laughs> if they want to if they want to if they want a drone which they fly over my damn house they have it every 15 that's what i'm saying don't let this world don't let your world make the world smaller don't let your world make the world smaller don't let your world make the world smaller that is just your experience ain't no every shit now you got 15 year olds making making apps 15 year olds who can rent to own 15 year olds who say hey you know what mom i don't want the new ps5 i actually want fl studio 20 because i really want to try this thing can you get that for me you know what you'd be surprised and, and i say that because i have little cousins that are that are 15 i have people in my audience that are 15 and you'd be surprised how easy they adapt to the circumstances how willing they are to play the game the right way how aware they are of if you play the game the right way you'll get the results that you want and they can bang out beats right even if they ain't bang out beats like you may or you they they on your ass one day that 15 year old is gonna invest his 10,000 hours his or her 10,000 hours by the time they 17 18 they on your head on your head so I don't doubt them I don't doubt them I don't ever doubt nobody I'll never underestimate underestimate nobody and I'll never think that my reality is everybody's reality bro my mom ain't give me shit I wash dishes for any PCs and plugins well that is still you man <laughs> that's still you do you get that you're only one person do you realize there's 8 billion people on the earth? Have you ever seen a billion of anything? Say, now y'all got me in my other bag. Hold on. Now you got me in my other bag. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One. Okay, I want you to watch this. Hold on, hold on, watch this. You ain't even gotta be here. I don't care if you're here or not. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Hold on. Huh? Okay, let me give him some love. Hi, baby. Hi, Baba. It's bright in here, huh? It's bright? Yeah. Yeah. Right, I gotta go to the bath, Papa. See you in a second, Papa. I love you. Okay, hold on. We on a desktop. We on a desktop now. Hold on. Here we go. Let's go ahead and mute that. Okay, I just want you to see. This is one grain of rice is equivalent to 100k, one million. Okay, that that's 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 a ten. Okay, let, let's let's look at this. What the equivalent is? Mind you, it takes him all these hours to do this in rice. This ain't even about to be a, a billion pieces of rice. It can't fit on the table. Okay, okay. Can we please? That's not even a billion. That's not even a billion. Hold on. I need something that's going to show. Show me one billion people. Image.
that's far less than one billion. But how to hold on? You trying to tell me every single one of them when they was 15, if they decided to be a producer, would be pirating? It's a lot of people, man. It's a lot of people, man. Don't let your reality, don't let your reality convince you that it's everyone's reality. I'm big capping. No, you just not have not experienced enough of the world. If you think that that is the reality of things and I'll leave it there. When people feel like they're right and they have all the answers, I just let them have all the answers and I'll. I'll let you I'll let you have that. You won that. You won. You won, bro. You don't have to be here. You won. You won. You won. You're right. You're so right. I wish you the best. I wish you the absolute best. What if you can't afford it? By the way, I'm not downplaying anybody. I just want you to real I just want you to not lie to yourself. I just want you to not lie to yourself. That's my goal. Don't lie to yourself. Lie to everybody else if you want to. Do not lie to yourself. Lie to everybody else of the word if you want to. I ain't out of my business. Don't lie to yourself. You got to live with that. And we cannot be so arrogant to believe that we know is the world is made up of eight billion worlds. You cannot be as air. You cannot be arrogant to believe that your experience is everybody or even the majority of people. Even your inner circle experiences something different from the next city over. So. If that is your truth, you live in that. You're lying to yourself. You think everyone has the privilege to pay for it. I never said that. And this is why you and I are not talking anymore. Goodbye. 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 If you're right, you can leave now. Hey, J. 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 Perry, if you're right, you can leave. That's it. You must not feel like you're right. <laughs> That's why you're still here. <laughs> I told you you won, shit. In this life, you could choose to be happy or choose to be right. I said you right, and you still here. No. But you, but no. But say I'm right, right. You said I'm right. I said you right. I gave you everything. What you want? Shit. You right. You won. You won. That You won. You did that. Whew. You did that. Hell of an argument. Everybody, everybody can't afford nothing. <sighs> hey, Jay Bird, I would even say this too. Like, he said, damn, chill. It ain't that serious. Just watch and learn from the man who has 250K subscribers. I wouldn't let met I wouldn't let metrics let you qualify me. Don't let metrics qualify me. I could be a dumbass with five with two hundred thousand subscribers. That don't mean I that don't mean I know what I'm doing. That means I know how to do one thing. <laughs> that don't even mean I know how to do something. I don't mean nothing. Two hundred fifteen thousand subscribers do not mean anything, except that I have found a way to collect human beings and their experiences. That don't mean that I'm more wise than anybody else on this earth or in this room. That's for starters, for sure. Like, I told him he was right. He was still mad. <laughs> but I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't believe you believe that I'm truthful about what I'm saying. I, I, you won. You won, bro. <laughs> But say it with your eyes, Curtis. Cause I'm still angry. You're big capping. Huh? <laughs> you should try voice acting. I've done voice 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 over work. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I like doing my own voice over work. That's fun. On the next episode of Location. K Breezy. I know, Curtis, I know you're trying to get a collab going. Not by anybody who spells my name with one S. Nope. <laughs> you can't even spell my name. You want a collab.
and then to, and then try to tell me like <laughs> and then try to tell me I know you want to collab no I know you want to collab I did not sit up here and say man I hope Gray be K Breezy Beats hits me up today hey Spade you're late the music is already over the music is already over we're done today we're done today we've been here since 4 p.m. Pacific time Big Drew. Yes, you can get a shout out. You spell my name with two S's. Big Drew. How you spell it? How you spell somebody's name all wrong? And they'll be like, I took my shot. I took my shot. No, you did. You don't need a shout out. What you want a shout out for? This is weird. This ain't the radio station. I know I got a radio voice. It's not a radio station. Can I get a shout out? What? I just answer questions from you. It's getting weird, man. Okay, I'm about to end this. These are the weird hours. <laughs> hey, Curtis, don't screw it up for, for, for you when you go from pirate into legit. For example, after buying complete 11, 12 Ultimate, I can't even download Session Strings Pro. Oh, doesn't it screw screw it up for you when you go from pirate into not, not for me? Because I got rid of everything. I got rid of everything. The only thing I got left from those pirating days is like drum kits that I only use for a visual reference. So there may be like drum kits that people don't sell anymore and they renamed them. Are they by a producer that I don't necessarily know their name? I can't remember it. Or I, I heard a beat that I did years ago and I'm like, damn, what snare was that? And I go back for reference sake and then I go buy it. Like the homie sent me drums and I'm thinking it was a free kit. And he sent me drums that were pirated. And I'm like, fam, these drums are like 60 bucks each or 20 bucks each. And he's like, oh yeah, you're my bad. So I went and bought them because I, my karma has been too good. My karma has been too good. It's not cause I'm a goody two shoes. My karma has been too good to F it up now. But that's just me. So I went and dropped, I think it was a Graves pack. I went and dropped 80 bucks, 20, 60, 80. Yeah, 20, 40, 60, 80. There's four packs. But like, if I'm gonna use it, shit, might as well. Or get the demo. Yo, Curtis, what gets you mad inspired? You meditate? Absolutely. Absolutely, I meditate. Absolutely. Um, that's not a place of inspiration for me. Meditation is a place of uh, uh, recuperation and reconnecting uh, with a reconnecting with the self and finding 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 a peace that I that I can carry with me even into live streams like this. That's why when you see me, I, I never like when I'm turn, I don't turn up on nobody. First of all, it may feel like I am a clown. We having jokes, but it's not I, I don't go from 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 talking about like talking about what somebody said to laughing because I'm bipolar. I do that because it, I just don't take it serious. I don't take much of this serious. Um, But for sure. I like to use meditation in the morning as um, a strength training exercise for my mind when anxiety kicks up for whatever reason it does. And sometimes anxiety, if anybody who's dealt with anxiety attacks like myself, you know anxiety doesn't need an excuse to show up. Anxiety will show up whenever you want it. And I mean, excuse me, whenever it wants to. You could be doing something that's not even anxiety inducing. Right. All of a sudden, your heart starts beating really fast. You're like, what the fuck, man? What is what is this? What is this shit? What's going on, heart? I've gotten to the habit of when I have anxiety attacks or anxiety issues, um, I talk to myself out loud like you already going to look crazy. If you don't tell people what's going on around you, like, yo, I'm tripping out right now. I don't feel good. So I just talk to myself. I say. I tell my body, I say, body, what's going on? What you need? What's up? 
Are you hungry? Something about breaking that wall and not letting that voice inside my head be the dominant talking puts me at a peaceful place to where I'm like, I'm good. I was just tripping. That inner, di- that inner dialogue that I bring out shuts up that other part of my brain, your prefrontal cortex. That's just yappity, 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 yappity. Maybe you're having a heart attack, bro. Uh, 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 uh. Maybe, 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 maybe you're going to, maybe, you, maybe, you, maybe you got to go to the hospital. Oh my God, the hospitals are zero capacity. What you going to do? Uh, it stops that part of your brain that just goes and runs a fucking muck. Just goes crazy. Um, I talk out loud to myself. I'll talk when I feel the anxiety coming on. I'm like, yo, what are you doing, body? Like, what's wrong? What's up? What you need? You need water? You know what? When's the last time you ate? I haven't ate in a minute. That's probably what it is. Exactly. Mind over matter. And also, uh, volume, volume over, uh, uh, outer volume over inner volume. And what I mean is that the voice inside your head can get so loud sometimes. The one of, you know, if you get paranoid, if you get, if you get nervous, if you get anxiety, that voice can be so loud. And tell me if I'm wrong, if if it ain't the same thing for you, it can get so loud sometimes. And it used to get really loud when I made beats. Very rarely does it do that now because I recognize it and I know, I know, I know, I respect it's gangster. I know, I know how how to address it. Um... But when that voice gets loud, you got to get the best way I feel like you can amplify another voice is to talk out loud. I know it sounds crazy, but talking out loud amplifies a better voice, a more authoritative voice. Like you ever be doing something? You ever be doing something? You be like, shut up, brain. Like, shut up. I got this. Sit, sit, shut the fuck up. Sit back. I got this, fam. I got this. Chill. We just started. That's it. I, that's what I do. That's what I do. It's a lot of things I do. I try to freestyle my thoughts out loud. I like that. I like that because it gets your brain moving in a different direction. He says, I have a small sign of autism, but I, I but I know what I'm doing. I also get anxiety as well. Music helps. Uh, yeah, I sympathize. I sympathize for you, man, because, you know, um, I've done a lot of research on on autism and, um, you know, right now my son is actually speech delayed. And so he's not officially on the spectrum, but he shows signs. And so I've done a lot of research in the last last six months. And as I do that research, uh, it makes me empathetic for folks that, you know, are, are, are dealing with uh, more obstacles than most of us are. And so, um, you know, I, I, I don't look at you and I don't look at you and I don't feel a pity. I I feel like you have, you have a superpower because one of the things that I've read about a lot of, um, a lot of kids that become adults who are on the spectrum is that they end up hyper focusing on elements that make them truly special in areas Right. It may be in in art and in, in, in painting and in drawing in music. And when they find that focus, it helps so much with anxiety. So the fact that you have music, I think, is a beautiful thing. And. um, Yeah. So I got made fun of in school for being in classes like that, uh, but I made good grades in school. And you know what? After a certain point in life, man, like. Those people who make fun. Who like. I've even heard comedians that say, like, they ask them, what is off limits for you? And they said, I don't make fun of things that are out of people's control, right? Um, Being a dumbass is in people's control. They just choose to do that. But things that are not within your control, things that are your your DNA, things that are your, you know, how how God uniquely made you, uh, you leave it alone. And I think that anybody who comes up and... They pointed them fingers at you and talked about you and dogged you for just existing. Uh, I guarantee you what they are challenged with is something that you should be thankful that you're not challenged with. Um, whether that's a, a, a heap of insecurity, an overbearing amount of insecurity. Right. Whether that's 
you know, uh, feeling like less than. So you got to make somebody else feel less than to bring them down to your level. That's a special type. Of, that's a special type of uh, asshole. And those folks end up growing up. And either become bigger assholes. That. Don't accomplish the things they want to accomplish because they never be real with themselves or they do accomplish the things they want to accomplish and. They reach a level in life where it makes them have to be reflective, right? Because that assholeness comes out in their marriage, that assholeness comes out at their job. And then they end up trying to figure out why don't I get invited to the inner circle at my work? Because you're the jerk. You're the asshole. The same asshole that I was making fun of kids when you were younger. Who, who, who were dealing with things that they could not control. Right. Um, I remember, I remember hearing a, a pastor said, and, and, and for some reason it brought comfort because, you know, sometimes you want to get back at people. You want to show them like, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at, look at what I've done. And I'm pretty sure you've had those moments where you thought like, look what I've accomplished regardless of, you know, uh, what I was diagnosed with, but nobody ever gets away with anything. Nobody ever gets away with anything. And when you first hear that, there's a, there's a need to rebel because in your mind, when you're looking at somebody, you see the perspective of them winning. That winning on the outside does not mean they feel like they're winning on the inside. Right. So. Nobody ever gets away with anything, even if they are a billionaire. They're the billionaire that is so obsessed with their insecurity that they're worried that they're not the number five on the list or number four on the list on the Forbes. They're so insecure about it. Well, I'm a billionaire, but I'm not Jeff Bezos billionaire. Just nobody gets away with anything. So if you know that, let that bring you peace and let that uh, make you, as Gary Vee says it a lot too, be empathetic. Right? I know you're, you're probably like, I ain't about to be empathetic for somebody who was dogging me and talking shit to me, but be empathetic for him. Be empathetic for him because um, that's something obviously their parents didn't have for them. It's just facts. Or whoever they were raised by. Because you don't do that. You don't do that. But I appreciate you sharing that, Jay Bird, because that's said my step had a stepdad has always been there uh, when she she broke and it was just me. And I'm a country boy, but I love hip hop. Well, I'm glad you got music, man. Glad you got music. That's a beautiful thing. Glad you got music. Thankful for music. I'm thankful for music for sure. Has definitely helped me out of a lot of uh, very vulnerable places. A lot of very dark places. Uh, music has found a way to just be like, like a friend to just put your put their arm around you and be like, eh, fuck, fuck all that. We going we we finna go out tonight. You know what I'm saying? Are we finna go? We finna go take your mind away from this shit for a little bit. Music do that every time. You already know I S C. All good. To gamer, thank you. Nah, not a problem. Not a problem. Yeah. This is why we do flocation though. This is why I always end with a Q&A or always end with some kind of words because um, I get in here. We cook for about six, seven hours a day. I get in here because I love making music. I love creating ideas. I love putting these ideas together. I love seeing uh, your interaction. I love seeing how excited y'all get. I love seeing like going back sometimes on the on the chats. Very rarely. But I go back on the chats and I go read back through the stuff. Um but I love seeing that stuff. And, uh, you know, it definitely makes me feel grateful that I didn't leave YouTube <laughs> and that I didn't, um, you know, that, that I, that I did give it another shot and that I came back and did what I wanted to do. And so now as we build out this channel, now as we start to do great things, uh, on this channel, we're going to have fun now. And there's no pressure to be anything except for, except for what we want to be.
It's a uh, word. Love being here, watching and learning. Shout out to y'all, too, because I, I, I just don't know what it feels like on the other side. I tried to experience like watching a live stream uh, and, and seeing like what it feels like when you're not actually doing something and you're watching and, and how do people stay entertained. And I was watching PewDiePie. PewDiePie. I was watching PewDiePie uh, do cyber. Uh, what is that? Cyberpunk. And I started to understand and I was like, ah, there it is. There it is. Please stream every day. I can't I cannot stream every day, unfortunately. Uh, my wife has her her business. And, uh, you know, because we can't take our son to like daycare and uh, because I would not have him in here for six hours, <laughs> we trade off. We trade off. We trade off days. I would love to stream every day. That would be a lovely. But uh fatherhood <laughs> fatherhood would not allow that to happen and uh, i wouldn't want to do that i wouldn't want to stay away from my son every day for six hours i love being around him and teaching him stuff so yeah 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 so that's why i'm not on here more but what we what i will do is this um starting next week curtis king podcast on mondays so you get that content um Flocation Tuesdays. Wednesdays are going to be behind the scenes of the not behind the scenes, but like a wrap up video, a highlight video of Flocation. Thursdays, another Flocation. Fridays will be uh, a wrap up highlight video of the last Flocation, like a little small, you know, kind of like uh, Joe Rogan clips, right? Where you get to see some of the more special moments from the six hour stream. And then Saturdays are going to be how to videos. So I'm going to do like, you know, traditional, you know, how to make like I did how to make a Tom roll, uh, how to sell your sound kits on self. I I got like 50 how to videos I'm going to do. And so I do that once a week. And then um, Sundays will probably be like another beat that I put up like an instrumental that I put up. Uh, some of these days I may even do like two videos a day. That's how I'm trying to go at it, because I just have way too much stuff that is sitting on my computer that should be on my my YouTube. But we got a lot of stuff coming through here, um, and I'm thankful I got a team that can that can make this happen. So just want to make sure you got a head up, heads up. But every Tuesday and Thursday we in here. Is dope music producers that make dope still a thing? Nigga, you talking about drugs? What are you talking about? Is dope music producers that make dope still a thing? You talking about cooking crack? I mean, is dope producers that make dope beats are something still a thing? All you did was add, I mean... And still a thing, LOL and question mark. And it's the same question. <laughs> I repeat it out loud because I want you to hear what I'm hearing in my head. Are you? I, I, I. Oh, oh, OK. Thanks. See, you got it. It's 7 a.m. My brain is dead. OK, you got to be more specific. OK, I got it. Uh, you're talking about my playlist. So. It was called Dope Producers That Sell Beats. It sounded like you were trying to tell me, are producers still making dope shit? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Como? What? What? Eh? What? What you say? <laughs> or it sounded like you were saying that, do they still make drugs? And I was like, when, when was that a wave? There was a wave of producers that were making drugs and making beats. So when you say you were cooking up, you were cooking up something else? Cooking up a, a, a Pyrex. What? Let me find out. Let me find out, y'all in here. Y'all in there. <laughs> Let me find out, y'all part time drug, de drug dealers. Let me find out. <laughs> nah, that playlist is no longer active. Uh, it's there, but it's no longer active. It's just wait. Like. 
I have tried to do so many things to um, involve and look out for the community, right? Even like the 24 hour radio stream. But I'm gonna be honest, this shit is exhausting. Folks be emailing you viruses. That happened to me and it crashed my laptop when I was doing the radio station thing. Like you find better systems, but it just be tired. It just be, it just be, I just be tired. I be tired. Like, I just want you one day to spend five seconds to say, when you see some content from me, spend five seconds to say, how did he do that? Like, how does he give so much? And how much work is that? Because most people don't care. <laughs> most people don't give a shit. They like, are you going to accept it or not? All right, cool. Moving to the next one. It's a lot of work, man. It's a lot of work to make it look like it's no work. It's 81 degrees in this room right now. Um, and I'm in here because I love it. So, and it don't mean that I don't love showing love. I just want to make sure that anything that I do from here on out is sustainable. And I am definitely somebody who has done a lot of things and just been like, yeah, I'm not on that no more. That's not really rocking for me. Uh, it's not sustainable. Uh, it's no longevity. So now I'm in a place where I'm like, all right, let's take our time with it. Let's take our time with it. Let's really like map this out. What is the six month plan on this? What's the one year plan on this? If one, if, if I'm thinking one year into the future and it makes me irritated or it makes me tired already, it's probably not something I really want to do. But as tell, uh, to, to Gamer just said, uh, the process, if I love the process, though, oh, man, that's why Flocation, we're on, Doc, we're on 29 episodes. 29 episodes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I got to do some. Let me do some math really quick. Let me do some math. Hold on, I got to see if I can do this. Uh, let me see. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to see something. 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 Calculate. Let me see. Let me see if I can do this. Let me see if I can do this real quick. I'm trying to find like a little nice little, you know what I'm saying? A little calculator. A little calculator. A little calculator. A little calculator. Little calculator. Yeah, I'm talking about a little calculator. So let me just say this. How about this? How about this? We just gonna do where my where my calculator at? I don't know. I was gonna try to do by like the actual days and all that, but I ain't gonna do all that. If we have done twenty nine episodes times, let's say an average of six hours, it's one hundred and seventy four hours. It's one hundred and seventy four hours divided by. 24 that means you can take 7.25 days starting from midnight ending at midnight the next day for seven days and then you would complete every single second that we have been in here for flocation He said, don't hurt yourself. Shut up. <laughs> Leave me alone. I know some bad. Leave me alone. I ain't hurt myself. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm, I'm literally about to give you another 10,000 hours in front of the computer. That's crazy. My knees feel it, though. My knees have like we already went 10,000 hours. But that's my point. I'm not saying that's a brag. I ain't know about no bragging. I ain't shit. Um, but. I love the process. And when I think about doing this in four years, it still feels a very, like a very lovely idea. I think about doing this into my 40s. It feels like a really lovely idea. I, I think about doing this into my 50s. Mm, maybe not so much, but I still I'd still enjoy it. 60s. No, no. I'm trying to be somewhere complaining about the Lakers. You feel me? I'm trying to be somewhere like get your ass off my line, boy. 
You feel me? I'm trying to be in here mad, angry old man. <laughs> Curtis, is it possible to flex my straight A's in my rap without being cringe? I made a song about washing your hands. And it probably is cringe. I just don't care. I just don't care. And the the sooner that you get to not caring, the more that you realize that people talk shit, but people don't really care. Big Drew, have a good night. People talk shit, but people don't really care. You're not that important. I'm not that important. It's not that it's not that nobody is it's nobody is going to. First of all, congratulations on your straight A's. That's amazing accomplishment. Beautiful work. Second of all, don't want to care. No, nobody cares. They may talk shit. No, oh, this is so cringe, bro. It's so wack. They don't care. They don't even care enough to give you a congratulations. The first thing they wanted to do was clown you. What the hell is this shit? Nobody wants to hear that. Nobody cares. They will go about their lives. They're probably not going to be in attendance at your funeral. I got real dark. They're not going to be in attendance at your funeral. So who cares? You want to make a rap song about your straight A's? Do it. Bars are bars as far as I'm concerned. If you want to make it about that, you do it. I know that uh, Asher Roth made a song about, he make a song about like going to college. And then like Mario Kart. You just got to do what you got to do, man. You got to do what you got. And don't be sharing your ideas. So I was going to do a song about straight. Just do it. Just do it. Because nobody's going to get it. If you are if you are blessed with a vision, you are burdened with the responsibility. Don't be going around trying to get people to believe in it. And be like, yeah, you like that? Can I get a beat? No, no, no. Art. Oh, you like that? Okay, can I, can I run it by you? No, 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 no. Just do it. Do it. The rapper from Leprechaun, Leprechaun in the Hood uh, uh, was a positive. <laughs> Mr. G, you finna have me. I'm, hey, you got to stop this, man. You got to stop this. You got to stop this. You the only person in here say something, but I just be speechless. I just got to shit. You gotta, just got to start cracking up. I be speechless. He said, the, the Leprechaun in the Hood from a pot was a positive rapper. He was. He's like. Oh, shut the feet. Don't talk, 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 talk. And you guys don't talk, 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 talk. And they was like, oh, get a leprechaun. And then he killed them. Killed their ass. It's crazy, man. Leprechaun in the hood. I have not seen that. I got to go see that. I got I to go find. He played the flute. Yes, he did. He played the flute. That was, that was a terrible. It was so, it was so bad. It was good. It was so bad. It was so good. It was so bad. It was good. That's definitely one of those movies. It's one of the movies where it's like, it's the movies that's on page 12 on Netflix. Don't even got no reviews. Like how you got a gajillion people on Netflix and ain't got no reviews. <laughs> Curtis, have you ever thought about producing beats for futuristic? You talking about the rapper from Arizona? No, nah, he was an asshole when I met him. He was an asshole to me. He he was he was he was he was like very dismissive. He was very dismissive and very you know who I am? Like, no. And I don't work with no artists. But yeah, to answer your question specifically, no, nah, he was he was a jerk. It's just it was one of them things where somebody so somebody just be rude and you just like look at him like Have a good day, sir. <laughs> I got a Canadian rapper who dresses as a turtle and raps about cleaning the ocean. Who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? Because you probably get invited to every uh, uh, Discovery Channel uh, festival. If Discovery Channel had a festival... And it was looking for a rapper who talked about cleaning the ocean. They picking your boy up. Katuma or Katuma? They picking your boy up. He the first one they calling. 
There is something out there for everyone. And that's the beauty of the internet. That's the beauty of the internet. That's why like I I it, it cracks me up when folks are like, is there an audience out there for what I do? And I'm like, fam, you could literally be shitty at it and there's an audience for it. We talked about this last time. We found a group of people, I don't know where they're from, but a group of people who congregate in the woods and they carve wooden spoons and they collect them and they teach each other how to do it. And there's like hundreds of them there. Fam, if there's an audience for carving spoons, one of these fools had 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 shorts on that look like some 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 spoon carving shorts. If there's an audience for that, there's an audience for you. Don't think that you are so special that nobody will care about what you're doing. Do you understand what I'm saying? We're running back. Don't think that you are so special that nobody cares about what you're doing. You couldn't be that bad. The singer William Hung from American Idol, uh, 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 Ice J.J. Fish, as bad as they were at singing, they have fans. You cannot out, you cannot run away from fans if you do this long enough and if you are amplifying it out there. You'll, you'll get fans. You'll get fans, even if you're terrible. Think about that. If you are terrible, you have fans. So don't think that you're so special that nobody cares about what you're doing. You just have not met the demographic that you are for. And maybe you haven't even, maybe you haven't fully unlocked the beast that you are in your lane. Maybe right now you're driving at five miles per hour in your lane. And you're not ready to do donuts. But when you do donuts... When people start to care and they give you negative or positive, people care. You got to show gratitude for that. First of all, they care. There's some people out here, I'm sure, that think I'm the corniest in the world. I'm the most long-winded. I'm, my beats are loud. They're not mixed right. They're terrible. Blah, 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 blah. They care. And I'm grateful for that because there was a time nobody gave a damn. So as long as people care, first of all, if they care, good stuff. Be grateful for that. But there's an audience literally for everything. And that's just not being optimistic. That's being truthful. You can you can't you can try your best to be the worst at it. And there's somebody who's better at being the worst than you. I want to take you to the movies. He was great at being him. <laughs> I want to take you to the movie. He did that. He did that. And now he's known for that. Somebody cares now about what he does. He did. How about chocolate rain? Something gum to something tops the rain. Chocolate rain. Now you know his deep voice head ass. Now you know him. Chocolate rain. Zay Monday, Zay Sunday, Sunday is the name if you were claiming chocolate rain. Now you care. So you can <laughs> you can try with all your might. You will never be as bad as you think you are. <laughs> he said, Jesus Christ, that's a flashback. <laughs> I don't know why that reaction has me cracking up. Oh, 50 Tyson. Yeah, I remember 50 Tyson, too. But ain't nobody, ain't nobody killing off taste. No, no. Uh, why must I cry? Why must I cry? Why must I cry? Why must I? You can't be as bad as you think that your music is, or you cannot be as bad as you think the circumstances are. You can't. Even with work, you can't. <laughs> Sharkeisha have fire. Sharkeisha, Sharkeisha, no. Eat er. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Don't forget, someone got famous by literally. I mean, he said a lot more. That song go hard. He said a lot more. He we, in the beginning, he said eat er, eat er. I mean, he didn't get famous just because of that. I mean, that definitely made it a TikTok friendly song, but the song was hard. 
pull on a boom with him now. And, and Roddy is talented as hell. He's super talented. He is super talented on the keys. Like he's super talented. I'm gonna get easy. He sound like a door hinge. Yeah, he do. He do. He do. People people forget about. There was a song where. Uh, uh, who was it by? I think it was Crime Mob. Uh, and it was a bed squeaking. I was up. Can up can him doom the dim gas? Some cut. That's what it was called. Nothing is new. Unpopular opinion. Six nine is cleaning the streets and might be better than the FBI on their job. I have a. I have a. I have a theory, and this is me being um, conspiracy theory, Curtis. I have a theory about certain, specifically New York rappers and gangs. I think that record labels are working in conjunction with police departments, or were at one point in time. I think they're looking at record deals as a way to penetrate gangs that they would have no access inner access to even undercover i think that it gives them the opportunity to yeah 10 4 hat curtis i'm definitely about to get my bag right now i think that they'll i think they feel like the best way to get in the middle of a gang and see what their inner workings is all about see who runs what is to sign Sign the sign an artist that represents that gang. For the and this is the reason why I think that because when an artist gets locked up, you ever wonder why you never hear about the record label bailing them out? Like that's that's your artist. That's why don't, why aren't you bailing them out? It's a tax write off. Artists are tax write offs for record labels. They're getting paid regardless, and on top of that, they have insurance on artists in the event that you get. You you get you you die or in the event that you get arrested or in the event that you fall off. They have insurance on your catalog. They have insurance on your you as a project. You're a project to them. They have insurance on you. You don't have insurance if things don't go right that they provide you. They don't even give you health care. So I started thinking about like Bobby Schmurter and how. I just and this is, this is tenfold. I mind you, I'm tenfold. I don't nothing. I don't know nothing. I ain't never talked to nobody. I don't know. I'm just just me observing. Think about that song, the Smurder Dance. It's a song that has no hook. Right, very odd structure. Even with the dance, the dance like people do dances in songs all the time. Why did that one go? What was so different about that one? And that's not me down on that. That's a hard song. That song is hard. I think it's hard. I think there's a lot of dope songs that are out. Hot Boy. What is so special about that one that it went so viral? Then when it went viral, sign them up. Got them signed. Now, when you're signed, your eyes are wide open. You don't want to throw away this opportunity. You got family involved. And now they have an end to, the, to, to that gang situation. This is just throwing it out there. Now they have an end to that situation. And now on top of that, they are in the studios with you. Are they probably providing you the studios to record in because you're an artist of theirs? When the folks from, what is it? Is it was it, a, was it GS9? What was the name of the gang? When they got arrested, where did they get arrested? Where did all of them get hemmed up at? The studio. How would somebody know that they're there? I mean, there's many different ways, but who would know for sure that they're there? Their employer. So I look at that and I was like, that's just me being tenfold, Kurt. Don't listen to anything I got to say. Don't even look too deep into it. That's just me thinking. Then I started thinking about the 6ix9ine situation and how freely he's able to maneuver. We've never seen anybody who freely was able to maneuver around saying the things that he says and the fact that people who we know 
half people who are about that life weren't really clapping back. They immediately said, no, he's a feds. And then knowing that hip hop has a history of the hip hop police. It's too much. It's too much to ignore. Where my sci-fi music at? That's my sci-fi music. So I just observe it. I just observe it. Don't don't call me on nothing. I just look at it and I'm just be like, that seems really obvious. And then the you know the six nine he takes down an entire gang. It just seems like that would be, if I was working for the police department, it would be in my interest to be in cahoots with the label because they know a lot more about their inner workings because they're doing business with them. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. Yeah, especially knowing how he started as a videographer. Right? He started off as a videographer. What better what eat what way is the easiest way to get is the easiest way to get in the door if you want to meet an artist or meet somebody that you would otherwise have no access to. I offer to do videos for them. Cause everybody wanna be a star to a certain degree. I'm just saying, you some things are just so it just things that make you go, hmm. Ain't no try ain't no truth to it. I don't know nothing. Have a good night, Avadon. You have a good night, brother. Thank you so much for being here. Makes perfect sense to me, Tinfoil. Okay, well, we're not going to call that my nickname. Damn it. That ain't no nickname now. Yeah, but that's that. It's interesting, though. You know, I, 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 I'll tell you this. It's a lot more WWF than, than you would think. So we'll get you inspired, Curtis. Real talk. Um... Depends on what you mean. Like, what am I getting inspired by? Um, I don't have like a super inspirational answer for that. What keeps me inspired is being alive. Being alive, being alive. And the fact that I get to do this, knowing that nothing, none of this is owed to me and knowing that um, where I came from, uh, it humbles me knowing how very little uh, percentage of folks who have the same experiences that I have or go through the same things or, or, or live in the same places and don't experience this. That is forever gratefulness. Then also realizing that I have in my memory times where I thought things were in the most perfect place, and then at the drop of a dime, they can be taken away. I carry all that with me when I'm making music. Right? I, I'm I'm pretty sure Dre did not. I don't know what his history, his medical history was. I'm sure he did not expect to be fighting for his life for uh, after having a brain aneurysm. I never would have thought that. He looks, he looks like he's in tremendous shape for his age. Yet here he is. And all the money in the world, like he still has to physically fight through this battle. So, um, nothing. I I I see the grace that I have been given, and that you've been given, um, and even that he's been given. Because a lot of people get brain aneurysms and die instantly. It's not even no no emergency or nothing like that. So, uh, I think think about that. Gary V has this really twisted and demented thing that he does. That I actually think it's pretty uh it's pretty um humbling but it's definitely pretty helpful if you ever get in a place where you want to understand where you want to hack gratitude imagine the people that you love the most uh the love the most in the whole world imagine all of them dying at the same time right and take your it's so much it's almost like a form of like 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 artificial trauma to a certain degree. But he says that he imagines he imagines that and really tries to like absorb that feeling and 
he comes back to reality and realizes that's not the truth and that he should cherish every single moment because none of this is promised. Like this, that's a different way of explaining it, but that's pretty much it is that it's, it's, it's some, some extreme ways to hack into your gratitude is that uh, everything that you have is gone. You think it's bad that you don't have the things that you still desire. What if you don't even have the things that you have currently right now? That's it. I don't need much inspiration. That's that's all I need. Everything else is icing on the cake. My son, my wife. How far we've come in a short period of time. I don't need anything else. That's it. That right there is it. Curtis, what is the most controversial opinion you have? I don't know. I don't know. Why are you trying to get a why are you trying to get a a, a micro content clip out of me? <laughs> I don't I don't I don't know what's I don't know what's controversial to you. I tell you this, I I'm very if you haven't guessed by now, I'm very stoic. Like I don't get too high on the highs, too low on the lows. Uh I may physically show you times where I'm like oh shit but I'm not too high on the highs or too low on the lows I stay pretty even right even when I find myself in situations of anger there's still a voice in my head inside that's like calmly channeling the storm or calmly directing and commandeering the storm but I don't know what's controversial this stuff people be saying and they be like, damn, can you believe that they said that? And I'd be capping. I'd be like, damn, that's crazy. I can't believe they said that. And meanwhile, I'm like, that's, that's life. <laughs> People say some fucked up shit. Does stoicism relate to depression? No, 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 no. Stoicism, <clears throat> I would say do research on it first of all. There's a... um. There's a there's a a couple of stoic IG pages. If you're on Instagram, I think you should follow to get an idea of what some of the leaders of stoicism, like Marcus Aurelius, um, there's a few others. That are, uh, I believe Socrates was also uh, um, uh, a believer in stoicism. But when you when you look into it, it's not about depression. It's about it's about operating life from a place of uh, of centeredness, from a place of, like I said earlier, not being too high on your high or too low on your lows, finding that even place to be in. Like, I wish I could pop up some of these quotes that are on one of the, the accounts that I follow. But um, it puts you in a place where when traumatic things happen or when 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 unexpected things happen people look to you for that strength right one of the biggest philosophies or one of the things that they share within stoicism is to don't live your life like don't live a life don't live a life worth living live a, don't live your days okay better way to re rephrase that Live every day uh, like it's worthy of death. It's very dark when you think about that. But live your days like it's worthy of death. Like if I leave today, shit, I left it all in the court. I rock with that. It sounds dark, but that's part of the stoicism is that it can come off, you know, sometimes a little bit cold or a little bit abrasive, but that's kind of my personality, like. Just don't get too turned up on things like that. Even when folks come in here talking crazy, make every moment count. Absolutely. Yeah. So look it up. Look it up. Look it up. I want you to find your own journey in that and and and, and understand it for yourself. But uh, books that I have read that introduced me to it is an author named Ryan Holiday. Uh, Obstacle is the way. Stillness is the key. Uh, he's a big stoicism buff. And so he's the one that opened my eyes to a lot of these philosophers and folks who have championed stoicism ways just a way of living life that um it stays above the digital age that we're in it stays above the 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 constant necessity to clock in and need uh 
um, what's the word I'm looking for? Validation from other people. Right. It, it allows me to let people be who they are without trying to control that, judge that or have an opinion on it. So. I think definitely, definitely you should look into it. Thoughts on MF Doom passing. We talked about that last time. It was very, very, very sad to hear that. Very sad to hear that that it happened on on um Halloween is crazy. But um, it's very poetic, too, when you think about it, like. You know, that you, 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 you want. I shouldn't say you want, but if someone is going to go out, I think one of the, the, the most poetic ways and maybe even for their family uh, to find peace is knowing that they did. It, they did it doing something they loved. Right now for him. For his whole get down, like his whole branding and his whole like presentation to be that mask and, and being the villain. He dies on Halloween. That's like a poetic justice to that, right? Um, I don't know. Like I, I just I, things like that. Like even like like when I think about Kobe Bryant, he could have passed away in that helicopter by himself. The fact that he was with his daughter, and they talk about how close they were. Like there's there's like another part of it, and that's also another level of um of stoicism. Like being able to to see the other end of things. Not being so extreme, like, well, it's extremely sad. There's no, there's no justice in this. And how could God let that happen? And that's not stoicism, right? Um, it's stoicism. I feel like is a lot of letting go of things that are out of your control. Things happen that are completely unfair. Things happen that man, it's just no explanation for it. But, um, in the midst of all that, people are looking like the most challenging thing. I, I'm just talking more of a rant, but the most challenging things in our lives, um, the big things that happen when somebody dies or passes away, people are there usually for us in some capacity, right? They'll come to the funeral. They'll cook dinner at the house. When it's the big things, people kind of congregate around that. Even in here, if you told us something bad happened to you, folks in here would show love to you and be like, it's going to be all right. And they'll show support. But it seems like the most difficult times are the ones where it's just you and your brain and you're just stuck with the decision of how am I going to deal with this? How am I going to uh, what do I think of this? How does this define me? And I think that if that is the most challenging, that's why it's important to find a centeredness, right, to find a a, a stable ground to stand on. So um <laughs> I don't do a lot of things for attention. I don't do a lot of things for uh, validation, right? Um, I do I do most of the things I do in this life for my family and myself. And then outside of that, I'll do things, of course, for other people. But um, as long as they're taken care of, there's a lot of things that people stress over. I just don't want to allow myself to. Money is one that I would not allow myself to anymore. I would not let money define how much of a man I feel like, whether I have a whole lot of it some days or I have, you know, a little bit uncomfortable. Can't let that define you. And I think that's part of stoicism as well. Is uh, to find you no matter what's going on around, to find that peace within the chaos. Meditation helps that for sure. Yes, no reaction to external events. And I won't even say no reaction because no reaction is still a reaction, right? But finding peace, finding peace with whatever it is, or, or not even finding peace, but recognizing peace. That's a big difference. Recognizing the peace within. Recognizing the peace that's right there in front of you. It's just up to you to capture that. The happiness that you want, the happiness that you think is going to come when you buy certain things, when you achieve certain levels of achievement. No, that's not how happiness is built. That's not the DNA of happiness. Because I can tell you right now, there's moments of your life where your happiest moments in life didn't involve uh, financial mile milestones or monetary things. Right. It probably involved another human being or involved, you know, uh, involved you evolving at something that you thought was once impossible. Your happiest times. Right. Are things that you don't have, you ain't got to pay for it. 
But some people, man, you know my favorite quote, some people are so poor, all they have is money. Can't be me. Can't be me. Cannot be me. Not like money, but you know what I'm saying? Like, that can't be all that makes my value. So if in a public forum, an adversary verbally disrespects you, what would you, what would be the stoic response? If somebody spits on you, what does that make you? That's my question to that question. If somebody spits on you, what does that make you? Most people would say it makes me mad. Stoicism say it makes you wet. Because they spit on you. <laughs> it's, it's fluid. <laughs> makes you wet. Now, if I would react in a stoic way and not lay the hammer down on the person that spit on me or an adversary that did that, um, th th ain't going to be nothing stoic about that because I'm not going to be disrespected. I don't mind. I don't mind anybody in here not respecting me. That's not a problem of mine. That's your problem. I have an issue with you disrespecting me. You're not going to do that because I, I wouldn't do that to you. Whether I know you or not, I wouldn't disrespect you. It's a big level, big, major difference. Yeah. Not showing a reaction is powerful. It can be. It can be. But I think, honestly, not looking, not looking, not looking for what would be your power move and just feeling the power knowing that you have got so much control over somebody that they had to react that way, you almost can smile because it's like, damn, thank you for reinforcing just how powerful I am. So, yeah, I, 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 I'm with y'all. I'm with you on that one. Do you think stoicism is being more passive? No, no. And I think also, too, it's not, like like and do your research, because I don't know everything about stoicism. You definitely want to look at Ryan Holiday and he's the specialist, I feel like, in, in stoicism. It's not about being passive. That's not that's the one thing you don't want to look at it as, um, because that comes from a place of insecurity. Right. If you if I let somebody do something, I'm not no punk. Right. What does that say about me? Well, that's now getting into something else. That's now you getting into your identity. Of who you think that you're supposed to be. I'm a man. You don't do that. Da, 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 da. I'm supposed to. Da, da, da. And you have to recognize in that situation what it actually means to be able to recognize what it means and um, walk away from that situation in power and your own. If and you already feel power, you already feel empowered by who you are and what you do. Uh, it takes a special kind of personality to do that and I'm somebody who still fights through anger issues sometimes so that's why stoicism is something that attracts me because it helps me in situations where I would flip off the handle uh, it helps me say well why would somebody feel that way is it possible that is it possible there's some truth to it are you mad because it's true to be able to analyze it and break it down like that to see it from another perspective, even when the other perspective seems stupid at first. It's max stoicism. Max stoicism. You said, I just don't get it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's not for you. If, if it's not for you right now, you got to be you. You got to be you. But I think that, um, I think that once you start to look at some of the 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 writings uh i think marcus really has wrote a book it has many translations called meditations when you start to see the period they were living in how much it relates to us right now because marcus aurelius um was the head of i forget what part of the world but ahead of he was the head of a, a part of the world where they had a plague for 20 years uh, like a pandemic pretty much for 20 years. And he was at the helm. He was at the, he was a leader of all of everything that's going on 20 years. We've been dealing with it for a year and a half, maybe a year and some change 20 years. And eventually he died from that plague. Right. 
And in the whole time, he was the he was the voice of reason. He was the one that helped so many people find their center, find their balance, find their peace. Even when everything around points at them being chaotic. Well, well, we in, we going in rant though. I saw Noah's late. Twelve fifteen. Jesus, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a very stoic, very stoic, very stoic episode of. I thank you for uh, for being here. I thank you for all these great questions. I'm so glad I could see them up up here on the TV. Uh, this was fun. This was dope talking about this with y'all. Uh, Curtis, have you read the book by Robert Greene, Laws of Human Nature? Mr. G, are, are we related? Mr. G, are you like a friend? Are you like a, like a, were we friends in a past lifetime? I'm reading that book right now. I'm reading that book right now. That's crazy, bro. That thing is like four Harry Potter books in one. That book is huge, but it's a gem. Oh, it's a gem. My friends, thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Flocation. We will be back here on Thursday, um, 4 p.m. Pacific time. Tomorrow, not tomorrow. We'll do that next week. Curtis, read Art of War. Uh... I've read Art of War. You should read uh, you should read War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. It's a fire book. Thank you, Curtis. You killed it as always. Drop mad gems. I have a great night. You too, T. I gotta get this. I'm gonna get this over to you. Uh, ASAP. I'm gonna go ahead and send that before I go to sleep tonight. Um, it's definitely uh, been a great night. Stay safe, y'all, for sure. Have a great night. Y'all uh, take care of one another. And uh, I will see you on Thursday. And it's life. You will not be full of life to see you decide to live life together. Hold it. This is Curtis King. Curtis King. A slap expert.com. Flocation, flocation. Shout out to homies. Hit that like button on the way out. I And in the words of Blueface. I then. Y'all have a good night. Peace.